All right, I believe we're going to finish the Shadow Lord and then uh, do some other things tonight. Now, there's one thing I want to do real quick before we go do that. Because I got a um, thing for a new trust, and I don't know what it is. I logged in and had an item. I've done a lot. I've played a lot over the weekend. Uh, most of it leveling. I did finish up the Samurai AF, the two pieces. So it was just get two coffer keys. Uh, Y'all saw me in the stream uh, with Temple of Ugapai, I think is what I always called it. Anyway. Uh, yeah. All right. I want to see what this is. No, not that one. Damn it. Do, 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 do. Should be that one, I thought. Oh, I guess it's entrance. Yeah, it's entrance. I had a pretty good uh, Father's Day today. Hung out with the kids, played some Super Mario. Watched my son do some Zelda. We were going to go out and swim today, but, uh, daughter was sick last night. I really have all these women today. All right, you. It's a Koopo friend. Now we're starting off with some squats. Okay. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. Thanks, Va. Uh, my legs are still incredibly tight though. <laughs> From last week. All right, we got a new Koopo friend. Yeah, I need to vendor. I don't know what a demon pen is for. The demon pen. Right, let's get this. I think I accidentally ran ads. <laughs> Oops. I clicked on something and on my dashboard it was right where it ran ads. So my apologies. That was a mistake. Okay. Used in class better the demon you know. Oh, it's an old town. Your reward is a goblin grenade. I'm gonna keep that. Oh, this. I think I need a lens for something. I don't remember what though. I think we're just going to get moved that over to storage. One more month will be five years. Nice. It's crazy to think of how long that's been there. That's my sack, right? Yeah. Oh, is it full? It is indeed full. Hmm. I need to do some sorting at some point. Check that out. Sack was just supposed to be armoring. Oh. 
I guess keys too. anything I need to pull out quickly I'll put this up too I really don't need the starting RSE at all I don't know what I'm supposed to do with death for dimwits either I don't know where, like, <laughs> where that came from Storage here. Where all this? And that's still good. Beastman seals. I need to look into doing some more um, stuff up. Uh, maybe I can get rid of that order. Um, storage space upgrades. Geodes, we'll put these here with the crystals. The demon skull is where is it just crafting? Indeed, use for crafting. Vendors from like 3.5k. We'll put the demon pin in here because it's a quest item. I do think I need the arm lens for something. So we'll save it. I guess vendor everything else. And then we're going to head to Castle Zal Bailey. to beat the shadow lord and then we can finish out the rest of the stream just doing whatever might try to see if i can get to uh treasures of Artagon, um and start up zillart there's a bunch of little things we can do i did get an abjuration also to try to fight matt uh, and get my ass handed to me because my skills and stuff are not going to be capped but i did get a um testimony to do that and we're like three levels away to do map fight i remember telling akita that i wasn't gonna do map fight i wish i was thief because uh thief all he has to do is steal so you literally just do it every five minutes and you log out <laughs> it, it was funny back in the day because as thief you could you go in try to steal perfect dodge log out and then you can log back into the fight and do it again <laughs> Oh yeah, I was going to check to see if those skulls sold for anything. You a necklace, drop that. Although I think it's like a wind cliff crystal for breaking those down. My memory serves me right. Nobody's buying my crap. Ooh. Uh, people last bought them for 15k. I'll put one up there, but I doubt anybody will buy it.
All right, that should be in clean inventory. E. So I ran into some people that I haven't talked to in probably 10 years. Uh, I played World of Warcraft with them. I actually met them here in Final Fantasy when I first started playing. And they've been AFK both times I've tried to contact them. Hopefully I get to hear back from them. It'd be really cool to talk to them. As it's been many a years. Um... Wait, what am I doing? I don't need to buy anything. We need to get a mines and teleport from there. I can't even get there. It's been a long time. We'll see if I get lucky. Uh, I have not set a favorite. I keep always going straight to that. Zombie. No, not Quibble. I mean, even after we've killed the Shadow Lord, we've set out to do what I wanted to do for the base game for Final Fantasy XI. The base, so... For the marathon, the main thing I wanted to do was get a job, get all the AF for that job, which we did for Samurai, and get a sub job and do the base story. Because that's, I mean, that's the first game before uh, Zillart came out. We've added a whole bunch of things to that because just onesies. I do want to come back and play this game, and I may even try to sub it in from time to time throughout the year. The only problem with this is I have to keep an active subscription and God, if it wasn't for that, I'd play it more, but I find it difficult for me to pay for a subscription for this. If I'm only going to play it like once a month. So I would need to be able to like sit down and play it for a while. I can't I can't keep 14 and 11 going at the same time I thought about just playing nothing but this for the month that I'm subscribed for it but I feel like that would take too long for the year of Final Fantasy to get through it I mean I I've still got how many base games? Like the base games for the guarantee. So I've still got 12, 13, 13, 2, Lightning Returns, 14, and 15. So I still have six games to get in six months. Or, yeah, six months. Oh, yeah, I was going to see what the last that new summon was. Pupo. Pupo Fraud. What the fuck? What the hell is that? So the main, we need to get to the center area. I don't think I actually have to do any drops for that. 
if my memory's not trash, I think you just go on the inside here. Whoa. Not there. Oh, I need to be on the other side. Oops. It took me a second uh, when I came in here to get the samurai um, testimony. It took me a second to get accustomed or reaccustomed to this map. Uh, it's got multiple tiers of drops. Like each one of those circles has three tiers of drops. And I needed to get to a certain drop for uh, the testimony. But another funny thing about that testimony though is um oh frame what's this hold on what is over there oh wait that's a up oh okay yeah so i didn't need to drop i need to drop all the way to the bottom I need to be on the inside. No. Hold on. I can just go down here. I didn't even need to invis. Yeah. That's right. What threw me off was the damn cooling offs. What's up, floofers? Hey, you do. There's been a whole lot of Final Fantasy news this year, hasn't there? It really has kind of turned into the year of Final Fantasy. Between Final Fantasy VII Remake coming out on this, on Steam, which I'm super excited about. Um, Crisis Core getting a, a PC and relaunch, which I'm really, really excited for. Final Fantasy 16 coming out. Final Fantasy VII 2R. Yeah, like... I w I'm kind of curious of like how Square's looking in the long run of everything. Because holy God. They've really been killing it. Wait, where am I? I think I need to kill two more mobs in here. Alright, we'll just let them fight. Uh, so... Yeah. Square, I think, has been the only game company that's like, let me show you what we got. And they've actually got a lot to show. I mean, they just released Endwalker. They have all the patches to go with that. Endwalker was incredibly successful. Um, Final Fantasy 16 coming out next year. Final Fantasy 7, uh remake or remaster remake remake uh released on steam crisis core re-announced or re-release announced final fantasy 7 2r announcement and did i already say final fantasy 16 yeah and they uh just finished the beginning of this year they finished uh releasing all of the pixel remaster so they've definitely been working Let me kill one more mob in here. Or the uh, thingy. So what's Koopo friend do? Nothing? Koopa Fried just stand there? We might have to Google Koopo Fried. Koopo Fried. Koopo Fried. Diamond, whoa, I didn't hear about the Final Fantasy 7 mobile market. What's happening with that? Or are you just saying because of the stream Steam Deck? Mm -hmm. 
that are remaking Final Fantasy VII into a mobile game as well. Interesting. Wait. The remake game? Hmm? All right, guys, we are after the shadow Lord. We've come all this way. The shadow Lord must pay. After I go through and can pick my bars. Oh no. Time stamp on. Right. Oh. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. That's actually cool. This is spoopy chant. We're going to get our team, our crack. Our crack team of helpers. We have V or Val, our paladin. We have Shantoto, the evil demon bitch. Who PP, the healer potato. And Lion, Miss Hot herself. Go team. The Shadow Lord must pay. I actually don't know where to go from here. <laughs> Map. What is this place called? <laughs> Castle Zal's Keep. Is that what you would pronounce it? Zal? How would you pronounce Z V H or V A H L? That Tara walk is just a waddle. <laughs> just, just waddle, waddle, waddle. Here's the map. Yeah, three. Here. We need a throne room. So we go to D. So to get to D, we have to go from E. And we'll get to E. So A to B. There's B to C. Go from C. Okay. Ooh, this is rough. All right. We need to drop either either side. They all connect together. Forgive me. I've probably only been in this place once. I not. Yeah. I, I have not been in here since Sh I killed the Shadow Lord originally. So. However many effing years that was. How you doing, Kate Ward? I've never made it past 18 in this game. It's always cool seeing people, see people run dungeons. I was telling Vi that one, or one of my most favorite things about this game is that every map like every world and stuff felt like a living, breathing dungeon. It doesn't feel like games do now, you know, play, uh, play a game now with a dungeon and it's very linear and it doesn't feel like a dungeon. It feels like you're just following a path to get to the end. And this game, it's a dungeon. Like the maps are actually very large, like really large. This Final Fantasy 11, everything feels like a world, right? This is a fucking puzzle. I think this is starting to come back to me. But yeah, everything just feels more. Oh, God. I, I always relate Sword Art Online to this. If you've watched season or like the first arc of Sword Art Online, 
Final Fantasy XI to me feels like that. Okay, we get here. That's not where we need to go. Wrong area. I may have to do a little more Googling. All right, Ordor. Ordor. here i'm glad i don't have that all right so you want to see what this would look like with sweet fx levels on it'd be dark as crap look how spooky this looks how dark is that on the stream chat is it like almost pitch black it's it's pretty creepy like but it feels more like this dungeon you know this called the shit like we're going after this shadow lord all of this is like black obsidian you know like it's very mood steady to have those levels on but it also i can't see <laughs> can't see I don't know uh, if anything's going to be high enough level to aggro me in here. God, I hope not. Okay, we've made it up here. So yeah, we're like physically climbing a castle. I forgot all about this keep part. Like I knew that we needed to go to Castle Zal Bailey, but I didn't know. I I've forgotten all about the keep. And I'm pretty sure I haven't been here since the Shadow War. I don't think there's any other thing besides Black Mage. And I did Black Mage AF3 very early in the game. So it would have been when the first year playing. That means I haven't done this, any of this since 2004. to the next map now imagine doing this okay when you haven't like your first time this is 2004 um the maps and stuff for this were not like super readily available and you couldn't really google as much i mean there was places like um alkazam but for the most part Oh shit. For like Alakazam had information, but it was always all user posted stuff. So everybody was kind of discovering it at the same time. I ended up getting further or higher after this bit. I ended up getting higher than uh, all my friends and everybody I had played with. So it, it got to the point. Oh god. <laughs> they just come running up. Uh it got to the point that I was doing a lot of this on my own because all the information I could find were JP stuff, like, like the Japanese forms and stuff. So a lot of times I had pictures and that's all I had to go on because nobody had translated. And it was before Google Translate. <laughs> we're waiting for the teleporter to respawn. Oh, gotta miss this music too. Uh, yes, I have. Um, so this is the first boss of the main expansion, uh, the Shadow Lord. So, or not the main expansion, the main game. So, Final Fantasy uh, 11 originally uh, released in in Japan as the base game, and then it later had its first expansion, the Rise of Zillart. In North America, we got the base game and Rise of Zillart together. I am doing at the moment the base game that is rank, I think one through six. 
and it culminates with the ending of the Shadow Lord. That's the main first story. The next story would be the Rise of Zillar, and then after that would be Chains of Promethea, and then after that would be uh, Treasure Treasures of Artagon. After that, Wings of the Goddess, and then there's some uh, three add-on DLCs, and then the three Abyssia DLCs, and then uh, Aldolin. It's, it's got there's a ton of content in here. Uh, I would love to stop and do all the content and I probably will. I'm going to leave this as my backup of coming back to this game. Um, when I have not much to play or whatever, because I want to come back and play this a lot. Yeah. There's a ton of content in this game and it can almost all be sellable. Now you don't have to have, um, groups to do it. Like I have the, these are trusts. And they can pretty much take me through everything I need to do in the game. So Final Fantasy 11 has officially kind of become a single player game now. Well, I mean, you can play multiplayer because a lot of the in game stuff is multiplayer. But what I'm trying to say is that like, if you want to get the story, if you want to just have the gameplay and all that, then you can now. And I think it's amazing. Oh, it was very dependent. We've talked about that at great lengths of how dependent this game used to be on multiple people, but I, the game wouldn't have survived without it. Um, if you were still reliant on other players as heavily as the game originally was, it would have died even more than it is now. I think the reason why it's even still going is because they've opened up the trust system and allowed, um, allowed for it because with dwindling numbers it's an old dated game i mean how many people am i going to be able to find to go hey i need to go xp in valcrum dunes or quiffle mile or kazam you're there's not enough player base to build that out they would have had to take all the servers and combine them into one just to even have a decent enough player pool i think i should include it in the oh I definitely, man, if they included this on the, uh, final fantasy 14 subscription, or even if it was a couple of dollars more like it, retainers and stuff, I would have it stay. I would stay sub to me. I'm not kidding. And I would beg Violet to play with me. I wish they would do that, but they're not going to, <laughs> I'm sure that they feel like they get enough money that they don't have to do that kind of stuff. I'll get real scenario to crystal. Cause I mean, the, the people who play this are very dedicated. I don't know how easy prey these are. So we're just going to not risk it. Uh, is this man? Yeah, I, I would love, even if it was a paid add on, I'd pay for it. I really would. And I would be, and I think it would increase the player base by the ton. I really wish they would do that. And it would be a way to keep this game alive and get rid of the old POL launcher and launch it into Final Fantasy um, 14's launcher. And there you go. Because playing a lot still a pain in the ass. All right, we can now teleport here. All right. God, I remember doing this walk for the first time. This was so epic. And I want to correct myself. I think I have been up here before because I remember getting to this throne room and doing BCNMs in here. So I may have done, I may have uh, come up here a couple more times since release. I just don't recall it or it wasn't, it was very trivial that I don't remember the walk. Beyond this door lies the Shadow Lord.
could this be? Yes, it is the tomb of the Shadow Lord. How convenient this happens as soon as we get here. Also, uh, I don't know if you guys saw when we walked in here, it actually had the Shadow Lord's name and the character sprite was in the background. <laughs> I don't think it was supposed to be, but. It's a weird uh, thing to say, but every Final Fantasy XI streamer I've seen is super chill and has fun to watch. I think uh, Final Fantasy XI is more of a laid back game anyway. It's not like 14 where it like, you know, really pumpy. It's, it's a very slower paced game in general. It's kind of like if you watch old school RuneScape streamers, they're kind of the same way. They're very relaxed. I don't think there's anything different from how I stream though, anything. I don't know if that matters. Ah, the Dark Knight. It's been 20 years since we last met, Zed. No, how is this possible? I defeated you. I cannot die, not until I have eradicated you and your kind from this world. So it is true. I suspected as much since we last met. You are a Galka. 30 years ago, I was in a group that came to this cursed land seeking to uncover the secrets of a lost civilization. And it is here that I fell um, betrayed by one I trusted with my life. My friend Ulrich could not abide the fact that I was the best swordsman of the Mithril Musketeers, that I was advocating peace with the beastmen, but the time uh, was, at the time, was not to his liking either. Cornelia died protecting me, but I came back. Not even death could keep me from uh, exacting revenge, or enact, eh, yeah, revenge on those who wronged me. A power hidden deep beneath the earth gave me a new form and granted me control over a nether beast. Over the nether beast. It was then that I became aware that I was made aware of the dark anger smoldering deep within my soul. I realized it was not the revenge that drove me, but the old undying anger of our race, the wrath of the Galka. Others cannot fathom the depth of our rage. But I can't. I cast myself willingly into the flames, the broke and broke the chains of mortality. Your kind awoke the fury within me, and I was reborn into rage incarnate as the Shadow Lord. I swore to myself then to purge this world of your kind, and I will not rest until I crush every last one of you. The funny thing is, is if you're really going to hold that to everybody, then you would hold it to the Humes as. And maybe the Elvon, the uh, Tartar race and the Mithra didn't really do anything. They were just like, oh, don't know what happened to him. Oh, I guess. Okay, we'll just leave. And he's a Galka. Zed's a Galka himself, which would be the same race. So, again, not your kind. So, I'm punching holes in this Shadow Lord's monologue. Yeah, Tartar are innocent, man. What? No. Stand there and watch, Zed. Search within for your dark rage. The flame that burns in the souls of all Galka. I'm too lazy to walk. I do wonder if they just didn't have an animation for him walking. <laughs> so they just made him teleport. Now, I will cleanse the world of your filth. Unless I am first consumed by fury. Come. It is the hour of reckoning. Death itself failed to stay my wrath. Let us see if you can do any better. I don't have a re-rage ring, so if we die, we're walking back. <laughs> I forgot to pick up a re-rage ring before I came.
So we gotta hope I don't wipe. I think that was the crystal right before we came here. Here we go. Oh no, he's already 50%. I think we're good. <laughs> I think we're good. What level am I? 67. I'm over level because that I think 60, 50 may have been the cap for this originally. I think it was before artifact armor. So 50, yeah, I think 50 was the cap for this content. I may be wrong on that. It may have been 60, but I think it was 50. We're hitting for zero at the moment. He uh, did like Paladin's two hour. That's all she wrote. Yeah, I'm super level. And trust are like super strong too. Gramps, you beat Final Fantasy. Well, we beat another one. <laughs> We've got a few left. Oh. Oh, we gotta find him again. Did, did something happen? Does this have a gimmick? You had to fall and fight him twice. There we go. Killed him fast with the second. No. 
It's not over yet. I told you, even death cannot stop my revenge. I will not fall. I will keep coming back until the fires of wrath consume me. Rogrim, stop. Listen to me, it's over. Rogrim? No, that is not my name. I am... I am the Shadow Lord. You are no such thing. Search your memories for the true self. You are Rogrim, the Galka, the greatest swordsman. You're Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> Feels very Darth Vader-y, doesn't it? I am Ro Rogram. Ro Do you remember? Yes, I do now. Rogram, it is good to have you back. How has all this come to be? As you know, I was the tailkeeper of the Galka, the keeper of our race's memories. But there was so much pain and so much anger. I let myself become trapped in the dark abyss with swirling rage and madness. Rogram. People are capable of kindness beyond angels, yet we also commit sins that would put a demon to shame. We are we all stand precisely on the er, preciously on the edge of between darkness and light, and when we fall, we are greeted by only madness and chaos. So I have fallen. There is no salvation for me. The Rogram who have you once known is gone forever. I expect no forgiveness for what I have done, but Come on, this way, hurry. I mean Gonka are what uh Rose are based off of in fourteen. My true self died 30 years ago. All that remains is an empty shell. Cornelia, finally we can we may meet again. Oh, well, Galka's also had tail. But uh Galka are way more muscular. <laughs> And so the Shadow Lord was defeated, thanks to Baragard's selfless courage and sacrifice. Through the cloud shines a symbol of newfound hope for the people of Anadil. But none should forget that whenever that light or when <laughs> But none should forget that whenever there is light, there is always shadow. The legend goes on to say, from the darkest depth of the earth, the warrior of the crystal rose. So I guess this is goodbye for now. I hear they're starting uh, flights to the Outlands. If you ever get your hands on an airship past the Kazam, come see me in Norg sometime. I'll see you, Barguard. Bye. I too feel that our paths will may cross again. Until then, I wish you farewell. well. By the way, uh, I'm playing an advanced job that was not available by the by this as well because they were just talking about Norg, which is part of the expansion area of Rise of Zillark. It was a tease. For the next expansion. And we have obtained the shadow fragment. 
Uh, I think... I don't know if we go back to Juno or if we go back to Vastok for this. Let's see. Vastok. Mission. Find the troops. After the fight, we receive a thing. Pumped curse. Where's this? Oh, to who? Okay, so we do go back to best start. So we finished another year of Final Fantasy game. Isn't that awesome? We get to fight or we get to start Final Fantasy 12. We could either I, I could give you guys a suggestion. We can either mess around on Final Fantasy 11 for the rest of the night. Or Oh, what's happening here? Master, look at the orb. You have set us on a proper course and passed through the first of many gates to come. This precious jewel is one of Razanjima Sanctum's most mis mystical treasure. Our legends state that it was formed from the energies of a thousand different lives. Though it had originally been regarded as but a minor artifact, in the future you have my or you have my father. You and my father had down had drawn forth its true power, Catherine. In reality, it is a piece of the mother crystal. Please, Master, you have, you have taken the first step, but I urge you to continue pressing on. Gilgamesh awaits you, or awaits word in Norg. Okay, so we uh, got another mission for that too. Anyway, as I was saying, we can finish this up, get rank six, drop stream, bring it back up, and start Final Fantasy 12, or we can spend the rest of the night hanging out Final Fantasy 11. Doing opening up Zill Art, maybe go to uh Treasure of Artagon. I don't I don't really care. <laughs> so kinda whatever anybody wants to do. It is amazing how fast we did this and how fast I could have done it. Especially if I had remembered a lot of this stuff or had known all the things you'd go to. Just not having to walk everywhere. <laughs> having a mount and having all these teleports has made this game so much easier. So y'all tell me what you think. Um, if you're not planning on streaming this more in the future, I am, I am planning on streaming this more in the future, but I am going to have to like move on with the marathon too. Does that make sense? Like I'm, I want to come back and I want to do more of the stuff here. I want to do all the story at some point. I would love to do it after my marathon's over. That would open me up for a lot more time to invest into it. But I know that if I stick with 11, so say we stuck with 11, it would take me at least another month to get through the story content. More than likely. That would leave me with five months to get through Final Fantasy 12 through 15, including uh, all the other games, plus the spinoff games I have. And I don't think I have enough time to do that. Not with how my streaming schedule works. You stop them from bringing back the Shadow Lord. What are you talking about, Volker? They probably defeated him and sent him back to where he belongs, am I right? What? Defeat him? But that's... Impossible. You find it hard to believe that our some adventurer could defeat the Shadow Lord, Captain. Have you not heard of what the townspeople are saying? Uh, they're saying the age of adventurers has come. Hmm. Only historians uh, in... Pros what? Prosterity have the privilege of saying such things. And it does not matter... If they have stopped the Shadow Lord from returning or if they actually defeated him. 
The important thing is that they kept the kindred from gaining power, and that, I believe, deserves a reward. Good work. I'm raising your rank, and here is your well-deserved reward. The Shadow Lord may have been vanquished, but the kindred are far from defeated. I've received reports of strange goings going on on the beastmen strongholds. You've probably heard this too many times, but we're counting on you. Rank six. So this was who the Shadow Lord was. Zed must have known, and that's probably why he went off on his own. Don't tell Volker about this. Ulrich's fate should have also or should also have been kept for him. Uh, kept for him too. He may not be able to accept it yet. He admired his grandfather a lot. That's why it uh, pained him uh, to hear people say that Volker himself only became captain because Rogram was gone. I know that hiding the truth from him is not a good thing, but most of us are not as strong as you. We need time to heal. Sorry to interrupt. What are you two talking about? Uh, just saying that the car cars really hasn't changed even after all this. Yes, but I think I understand him better now. I may have been judging him too harshly. Speaking of which, you still have not told us why you backed President Karst in the uh, last election, Chief. Oh, that? Well, 15 years ago, af uh, even after I resigned my post as, as head of the gunpowder room, the Senate was still uh, in chaos, trying to find more people to blame for the accident in Palborough. But there was one junior senator there who proposed we abandon Palboro and reopen Zurn mines. That junior uh, senator was Karst. The miners stood to lose a lot, but at the time he proposed, the proposal was Bastion's best bet. I'm an engineer, so I respect skill, and I felt that Karst's political skills could be trusted. And he's a real best stoker, too. Very ambitious and uh, real easy to figure out. I can still remember the eager look on his face when he announced his proposal to the Senate. Do you get into 14? I play 14 fairly regular. Uh, we didn't play it Friday because um, I, I wanted to do this and I needed a kind of a little break from 14. Uh, I am on Crystal Data Center uh, Coral server. Uh, for your Final Fantasy, I will also be doing Final Fantasy 14 though and we'll be doing uh, the main Realm Reborn um, game. We won't be going past the Realm Reborn. So pretty much after Praetorium and the credits roll for the base game, that's when I'll stop for the year of Final Fantasy. And again, I'm putting these limitations on the year of Final Fantasy because just time. If I was to do all expansions of 14, well, that would take a while. <laughs> that that would be months. All right. So we've officially done it. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I'm on Primal, but SE is supposedly making cross data center play. Uh, it should be coming out this year. Uh, in fact, last night I was playing Cake. We were doing uh, in Singer Extreme. And still no mounts. I think we've gotten two mounts out of a lot of run. It's getting annoying. Is it a few, uh, few weeks? I knew it was this year. All right. Uh... Return to the Tailkeeper. Oh, we gotta go progress our uh, thingy. You started in-game raiding and I'm stuck on P3S. So I don't have the time to invest into raiding. I've been asked a few times to join raid groups, but I've always turned them down just because of my work schedule. It doesn't really work with a lot of people. So I just kind of take the L there. Um, however, Fluffy Animal here um, and my friend Akita are now doing raiding and they are, um, they've got P4S um, Reclears Weekly now. But if, if you want to check out a friend of mine that plays Final Fantasy 14 very regularly in streams, uh, Akita Fuki, he's uh, someone I met from Final Fantasy 11 and one of the few people that I've known longer than most on the internet. Whenever 6.18 drops, got you. Wait, do I have crystals on? I don't, do I?
Man, I'm not looking forward to doing the mat fight on Samurai. P3S is a massive wall for everyone. That fight is so annoying. I think we figured that was going to be an annoying fight, even in normal. Cake, if you ever get a chance to play 11, though, I recommend it. But. I'm doing all of this on the keyboard. I don't play with the mouse. Uh, I use arrow keys for camera and stuff. I don't know how this game plays on a controller, but heads up. It, using a mouse is very uh, poopy. So I don't recommend. Can I get that out. Yeah. It's interesting how easily um, I came back. I haven't played this game in 10 years, mind you. Uh, once we started playing, I instantly went back into like muscle memory. And I'm so surprised how I was able to just fall right back into it. See, another problem with 14 is 14... There's so much crap that I have to constantly keep up with. I was, I've been talking about it in the last few days. It's like, I need a break because it's burning me out. The constant, like in World of Warcraft used to do that to me too. You got to get your dailies in, do all this thing. You got to get all this stuff in with the, for the week. And I was like, I don't want to do that every week. I want to be able to just sit back and my tank's fairly geared for what needs to be done. And I mean, outside of Savage, it's app gear. So I'm just kind of, and eh, whatever. <laughs> Why did I run down here? Oh yeah, I have to give him some crystals. Do I give it to you? How far is my bar? Do I have to brought more? Does it need to be full? Uh, completing... This is four crystals, so that should be good. Uh, return of the Bellkeeper? Yes. Alright, there has been some commotion in the mine district uh, near Ore Street. People are saying they're that a new tail keeper has arrived it sounds fishy to me but with the disappearance of their elder weary anything could be possible the last thing we want is an uprising by the galka go to the ore street and talk to the medicine eagle he says uh, he was there when the commotion started yeah but like that's something that's bothering me about 14 because it's burning me out you know because i i only get to play 14 normally two days a week because i'm doing this marathon as well so i play friday night and saturday night and both friday night and saturday night i also do stuff with kita we either do mount farming um or, or it's usually a type of mount farming whether it be weapons from shatterbringers or um old savages or current extremes, right? So that's three to four hours every night. I also have to do my dailies, my weeklies, and get all that stuff done. So it's like a rush, it's like a hustle to get everything I need to get done in that those two windows. And it's starting to really wear on me. Like we just played last night for like was it like three hours fluffy? Like the rating bit. It was like two and a half, three hours. And I'm, I was good with that. Like I didn't feel burnt. It, I felt like a good little session. And then I was able to go do something else. And I felt better about myself. I know that sounds weird, 
but i mean fluffy can tell you i've been doing nothing but final fantasy since january i mean no well, i shouldn't say nothing i did do some side games but i've i'm been slamming through this marathon while keeping up with 14 as well and it's just it's a lot the playing final fantasy 11 has been the most fun i've had since probably playing final fantasy 9. It was uh, Final Fantasy, like the old Final Fantasies, and then Final Fantasy Nine was super fun. And Eleven is just a nostalgia overload for me because it's a very large portion of my life. Oh yeah, we need to go. They actually circle your map now. Yo, what the crap? You see the pin circle right here? Uh, you know. That's right. Go to the mines and talk to Machine Eagle at H5. Uh, so we're almost there. Medicine Eagle, you're in the wall. No, so you're the adventurer the guard sent. Let me tell you what I saw. Fluffy, you would actually like the story in this game, I think, if you ever had the ability to do it. I would recommend it if you ever got a chance. What's going on? Why is everyone here? Why? Ask our new townkeeper. Our new what? <laughs> the fucking tree just running through the camera shot. We Gonka have been waiting for this boy ever since Rogram left us. He is our new townkeeper. I came across him in the Coral Oka Tunnel. Um, that is where I heard him recite 200 years of memories. I can understand everyone being surprised. I too was taken aback when my destiny was made clear to me. However, now I realize that I have been chosen to tell the tale of the Gawka people. I am the tale keeper. I set out on a journey to, of, of rebirth uh, to the far western edge of the Altepa Desert. And why did you go there? Our adventurers are... Oh, loud clearance into those remote areas in my previous life i was an adventurer the tailkeeper journeyed to our Gawkin homeland of for rebirth a revelation rock he heard a voice from the heavens uh, lead the stray sheep from the land of oppression and that that is what i was told then the glowing altempa moon petal pebble in my hand unlocked the 200 years of Gawkin memories in my head so you really are the tailkeeper do you question the voice from the heavens? How are we to know that? The tailkeeper speaks only truths. He does kind of remind me of Sir Rogram. Yeah, now that you mention it, there are no longer any need for such uh, to search for Sir Rogram. Zed and Weary, our tailkeepers, have finally returned. Now is there a place where the tailkeeper may rest? He is exhausted from his journey. It is normally off limits, but I feel we can make an exception and open up the restricted area of the Ore Street. Uh, using the inn would only cause commotion among the city residents. Very well, lead us to the restricted area. The photobombing is real. I will say I don't get how anyone can stream one game for so long. I have obviously become friends with a lot of 14 uh, only streamers pretty much, and I don't know how they do it. It literally just becomes dailies then standing around all day. I kind of feel like that as well. Um, there's There are people that make it work. Uh, like Z does a lot. I think Z is one of the, the standouts for Final Fantasy streamers that I've watched and can really do other stuff. Like in Final Fantasy to make it fun, like the runs, um, like what, what do you call it? Uh, item level stuff for raids and yada, yada, yada. Honestly, my least favorite thing about Final Fantasy 14 is how wordy the quests are. They really stick to the old English. Oh God. That is one thing I hate about 14 is the, uh, hoity toity Queens English. And that is what I saw to tell the truth. I am confused. I should be happy to see the return of the tail keeper, but something tells me they're more to the story. And now there is talk of sending people to investigate the Altapa Desert. 
but you should talk to Drake Fang and the Zerni Mines about that. I'm hoping, Cake, that it's just Aorzea Aorzea that's like that. And that when we go to the other continent, because I have a feeling that the next expansion is gonna move us to another continent on the on the planet, that they don't talk like that. And Aor that was an Aorzean style of talking. I'm really hoping. Really hoping we get off Queen's English after this expansion. <laughs> It would make sense though. It'd be regionized. Uh, oh. The new continent, like yeah, it's America. It's like sup, bro. <laughs> All right. After we talk to the uh, cut the um, medicine eagle, you must go talk to Drake Fang, who is a H six in Germany. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of uh, points where you can shave off unnecessary tags. Yeah, you can also shave off a lot of unnecessary quests. They've already done it once. <laughs> the new world is just like, hey, you want to ride the waves, bruh? Oh, the the turtle. The turtle from uh, Finding Nemo. Uh, Finding Nemo. That's, that's what I envision that voice is that turtle. Who are we looking for? Drake Fang at H6. Uh, H6 to the right. There you are. So, you heard of the details of the incident on Orr Street. That child who calls himself the Tailkeeper. We need to find out if uh, what he says is true, but they're still hammering out the details of the plan out upstairs. If we assume from the beginning that he's a fake, it could cost a, sh um, a shadow on our, or could cast a shadow on our pride. That's probably what's keeping the officials from making a quick decision. I will take responsibility for the adventurer's actions. Give him his orders. Sir, irony. Eater. So you have received clearance to send adventurers on the next expedition. We have always had such clearance, yet none of us knew the tasks to give the adventurers until now. I want you to journey to the Altepa Desert and see if the so-called Tellkeeper story is true. He is saying that he has found the Altepa Moon Pebble uh, near the Revelation Rock himself. If it is real, there is no way the normal child could have gotten his hands on it. It may prove that he is indeed the true Tellkeeper. And if it is fake, I want you to try and find an out of a moon pebble. This will more than likely be a difficult task. This is a very strange situation for me, but I would like to know the truth. That is all. Good luck on your mission. If you happen to find an out of a moon pebble, take it all the way. Call or take it to Tall Mountain and guard it. Um, guard in the uh, a guard in the off women's area of the mine district. All right. So. We get a cutscene from Iron Eater. Go to Western El Temple Desert. Western. But um, falling into that content lull was uh, Savage done and pretty much every mount acquired. So it was just dailies and beast tribes that I'm running in circles. So I'm starting to play other stuff more. And I'll probably kick up my own streams finally more often. Like I've been wanting to. Yeah, if you've got everything kind of on, uh, on reclear, it'd be a great time to start back up again. All right, so I installed a thing on Windower. That should do away with mount music. 
Okay. Uh, doesn't. So we have Mount Mum, um, Muffle or Muzzle? Mount Muzzle. Which is an add on. I just wish it would still play the background music. Which Final Fantasy did you stop at, Fluffy? So we need to get Revolution Rock. G8. Oh, you're still in seven? I didn't know if you finished the last one you played or not. You know what sucks about Altepa and all that shit? So right there is like a door passage or whatever. But you it won't let you just slide down there. You have to like go through all these like thingies to get there. Ursa started Final Fantasy 8. I think Ursa is the closest one to me. I know it's not a contest, but I think Ursa is the closest with 8. Then you with 7. And I guess the kid is on 5. Is it against the wall? You're still on one. Cat can't be bothered. Cat. <laughs> Cat's like 14. Southwest of a rock. Is a... All right. Southwest of a rock. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh oh. I didn't summon. We're dead. I don't have my NPCs. Uh, yeah, we're dead. We are very dead. Oops. I thought I was just going to get an item. I didn't realize. HP. Oopsie. Mistakes were made this day. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, I'm not even going to get through uh, the year. But no point in running the ruining experience for time constraints. I'll just slowly work through them. <laughs> Oh, we're back in Nord. Uh, so we got the other uh, mission too. Oops. Hold it right there, buddy. This ain't no cafe. What business do you have here? Uh, I've already been here, buddy. Uh, hence me, full samurai. You finally made it, Barguard. Um, been here. On points here. Just kidding. What? You don't have to worry about Barguard. He's okay. Anyway, I thought you guys uh, welcome to Ventures. Understood. 
Well, for starters, I should welcome you to Nork. However, as much as I'd like to sit down and talk about old times over a bottle of 813 Rollenberry, we must first face our new problem in uh, Camelot. You mean you don't remember what happened to Castle Zal? Bargard? Are you, are you all right? Bargard. This is actually the continuation of the story we were, we we're doing. It all began with a stone, or so the legend says. In ages past, the sentient jewel, enormous and beautiful, banished the darkness. Its many-colored light filled the world with life and brought forth mighty gods. Bathed in that light, the world entered into an age of bliss until after the time the gods fell into slumber. The world was called Vanadil. The legend goes on to say that from the darkest depths of the earth, the warrior of the crystal rose. Do you remember? Yes, I do now. Recapping what just happened. Rogrim, it is good to have you back. Have you, uh, how has all this come to be? As you know, I was the tailkeeper of the Gonka, the keeper of our race's memories, but there was so much pain and so much anger. I let myself become trapped in the darkest bit of swirling rage and madness. Rogrim, people are capable of kindness beyond angles and yet. We also commit sin uh, that we put on demons, put de put a demon to shame. We all stand um, precariously on the edge between darkness and light, and when we fall, we all we are all greeted by only madness and chaos. And so I have fallen. Quite an interesting show you put on. I don't know. I could have used a little more excitement. The Galka can never do anything right. The Archduke of Juno and what are you two doing here? We came to reap the seeds that we had sown. You've performed your duty well, as ignorant as you are. I can see that we still have a little more cleaning up to do, but that won't be a problem. What are you, what are you going on about? Give us some answers. Listen carefully. Your sorry excuses for sentient beings, the crystal line will soon be revived and the gate of the gods will be open. That is when the true Vanadale of legend will be reborn. Eternal paradise, the land of the gods, the dream uh, we Zillart have held on to for 10,000 years uh, is about to become a reality. Zillart? You, you can't be. That civilization, civilization perished thousands of years ago. The great bane will devour the land, uh, fair land of Vanadil. The ancient seal will be broken, awakening nightmares of ages past. The blood of innocence, innocence will soak the earth and the world will fall into the fear and despair. Galkin, Galka, Humes, Beastman, no life on this planet has any purpose or meaning. Like I told you before, we will not be hand, handing over Vanadil to anyone. This is our world. Yes. I am no longer sensitive, sensing the impurities that were blocking the power that lies deep within Vanadil. The noise is gone. Simply defeating him 20 years ago did not silence the noise. We ran into a snag. We were unable to release him from the crystal uh, with our power alone. You can say they want the realm reborn. The interesting thing is, is there's theories that this is one of the crystals or crystal shards of Final Fantasy 14. Like Vanadil. However, with the tailkeeper, we had uh, what we needed. But there is no need to go into the details of that here. That would be that would have been a really smart way to tie them all together, too. Wait, I can hear them. I can hear the five life forces. I can hear them approaching. Minions of the crystal. 
But as one bright sh star shines through the clouds at night, and as one song rings clear above the roar of beast, we hold to our hope in these darkest of times. This world is nothing but a grave, and you are the maggots that squirm through the rotten corpse. It is time we put an end to Vanadil as, as it is now. Hear us, we sing the song of hope and your requiem. That they will come with the wisdom of ages and the strength of thousands to deliver us from our plight. We await, await and awaken of warriors of the crystal. Come forth, warriors of the crystal, and cleanse the world of the filth that plagues it. What familiar Final Fantasy 14 fans? Warriors of the Crystal. Eleven did it first. <laughs> These are Zillart, the original. I, I guess, yeah. Zillart would be the Asians of 14. The Warriors of the Crystal would be the uh, Shadow Warrior or the Warriors of the shadow whatever farewell lowly vermin your time is up this is the beginning of the end very similar huh zed are you all right they could have so easily made this work with 14 and called the ziller Asians. <laughs> Don't underestimate them. Their power is immeasurable. No burger. Stop. You have to be crazy to stay here any longer. We've got to get out of here. Lion. Double swords. Oh, no, you don't. Rogrim. <laughs> He's stuck him in his beefy chest. I can still draw energy from this land. If I can concentrate it in one last time, I may be able to slow them down. Rogrim. There is no salvation for me. The Rogram you uh, once knew is gone forever. I expect no forgiveness for what I've done, but don't let them have Vanadil. Now go. Come on, this way. Hurry. Farewell, brave warrior. One does not need to be a prophet to foresee the outcome of this battle. However, I do fear, or do not fear death.
My true self died 30 years ago. All that remains is an empty shell. Cornelia, finally we meet again. All because I died and I'm... Who's going to come here after I finish that quest? Hey, Beauregard, are you all right? You mean you've forgotten what had happened in ca uh, Chris in Castle Zal? Hmm. Must have lost your memory from the overwhelming shock of the experience. Or that we haven't written that part yet. But, but by the looks of you, everything else seems to be working. See the staircase over there? When you're fi um, feeling a little better, walk up the stairs and come to the room at the end of the hallway. There's something up there. Someone would like you be. <sighs> I'll go there first and tell him that you're coming. See you again. Okay. Let's not make the same mistake again. All right, so from this point onward, everything is gravy. And I guess tomorrow's stream will be starting Final Fantasy 12. that kind of just, I mean I've got so many hours I could get a lot done in seven hours you know no no no, no I'm not heading off I'm gonna be here until 6 a.m it's 10 37 p.m <laughs> what I'm saying is I, I was talking about earlier as if nobody cared to see any more forts or 11 and just wanted to see 12 we switched to 12 but it didn't seem like it was a, a big care either way and uh personally i have a soft spot for final fantasy 11 so i figured well, fuck it we'll just keep playing this for this stream and then we'll start 12 tomorrow yeah i've got i got a long time um sunday nights are usually a long stream i'm also on vacation for the entirety of this week so i doubt that I'll, i don't i don't know how streams are going to work throughout the week because i usually do 3 to 6 a.m I'm just going to kind of play it by ear. And as long as my family doesn't care or everybody's doing their own thing, I'll probably stream. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. I'm going to keep 11 on the back burner, but it after. Oh God, I don't know how to do 11. Because I, I won't be able to play it off stream if I want to record the story of it. Hmm. I could do leveling and stuff like leveling and crafting and stuff off stream. And then whatever. Oh God, I wouldn't know how to episode it. Because like how I've been doing it so far, if you looking at the, look at the title, you'll see that there's like episode number. That's every Final Fantasy episode that I've, or for the year of Final Fantasy. That's all the episodes that I have done so far. So if we're on what, 82 or 83, there's been 83 streams of me playing the Final Fantasy games from one until this. Like I haven't included anything outside of that. So like Final Fantasy 14 and all that stuff, since it wasn't part of the story bits that I've been doing for the marathon, it's not counted. All right, I've got help this time. <laughs> Come <laughs> on. 
I forgot to summon when I came out here. I also need to switch off. Oh man, I did that too early. I need to switch off a ninja sub job. I had a ninja sub job just so I could have a uh, free invisibility. We're not free, but a lot cheaper. It costs 30 K for prison powder, but I can get 99, uh, shinobi tabbies for, um, 10 K big different. What level is Tashi Gecko? Yo. Boy just got pumped there. Yeah. Maybe great katana, great. Katana. At two twenty five. Full level, I mean. Two eleven. After we have the moonstone, after killing the things that for the moonstone top the tall mountain downstairs and the vast of mines. Okay, we're going back. So we finished that bit. We're gonna go back to Norg. that story request bit up see what i had planned to do was kill those that warp here get that story and then be on our way uh, as well that looks cool it is so dark like can i can i adjust that to be like half as dark Was it at 16? That looks a little better, right? Like it still has the vibrancy of the colors, but it's not quite as dark. Now it's on to talk to Gilgamesh. You made it back. Rose has been pacing back and forth all day. Master, tales of our victory against the Shadow Lord have reached our ears. History is one battle closer to being set on the proper course, and also brings us closer to oblivion. But we first may bring history to a point where the Master is able to face the future. Suppose so. I think back upon your struggles with the Shadow Lord. By the way, for those that think that this may seem a little weird, the most recent story thing added to Final Fantasy is this thing called Rec uh, Rhapsody, Rhapsody of Vanadil. And it's a storyline that starts with the start of this game and follows you through. So it's a new story, 
that they go have running parallel with all the old content to keep it fresh. It's actually a really cool idea for an aged game like this to add a fresh story going beside it. So her and this girl's whole storyline is about a thing with future and past stuff, some crazy cool travel stuff, and yeah. So anytime you see her, this is the new stuff being mixed in with the old. I think it's good, but I'm on PC at a home in a, in a lit room. It was dark. When we first met many years from now, the masters mentioned something that happened that day. I felt the crystal resonate within. Please try to think back. Oh, here we fucking go again. Warrior of the crystal, one who will become known as the warrior of light. Will you travel across land and sea and sky and bathe in the light and stopping darkness whenever it threatens the living? Noticing some 14 vibes here, yeah? And you will continue to banish the banish the doubt that resides within you. Such travels take their toll of on lesser mortals who re who, re who retry retire to their homes and live out their lives in comfort. But although you may stop briefly to gather your wits, each time you do so is it is only to steal your resolve for the next struggle. You have the will to shelter the downtrodden, vex the darkness, and protect all that Altana holds dear. The time is right for you to become more than a mere warrior. You will be greater, or you will become greater. For that, I want to re uh, require of you. Altana would be, I guess, uh, Heidelin, yeah. Has it come back to you, Master? You recall the uh, revenants of those words, saying they uh, gave you the strength the spirit of spirit to carry on no matter the odds. Though their journeys are uh, arduous and fraught with peril, the twinkling in your eyes as you recounted the tales gave me courage. Wasn't there a crossover event that had her in her outfit? If you guys play 14 regularly, Kat, you may be able to help with this. I don't know if you're still working in, but wasn't there a crossover event? The reason you were able to lead us to the final struggle was precisely, uh, precisely because of those many barriers you have overcome. You taught me that the world was rock, uh, worth fighting for, no matter how bleak the future. My father always uh, spoke of you with uh, adoration, believing that you were a man of indisputable valor. Banish your doubt, Master, so you may become all you were meant to be. Now that you mention it, Aroa, just who is your father? Yeah, so I thought, because Violet told me about this, this uh, event, and I thought this was an event I had already done. So apparently I didn't, so I missed that event. I'm a little annoyed about it. Well. Boss, something terrible has happened. There's big trouble at Sea Serpent Grotto. Boats are just turning and uh, turning and turning and no one can leave. No boats are able to make it to Norg at all. There was an uh, infernal ringing noise and the boats were just spinning in place. You mean to say that all of that started happening at once? Wait. Turning around and spinning in place. Obviously, they're both caused by the same thing. The bell. Does that mean you know something, Zad Bargard? Bargard, think back. We heard something uh, in Eshka. The place that looked like the Sanctuary of Zaita. Ah, so you two have experienced the same thing? Then there's no one better to get to the bottom of this. We should head to the grotto, Bargard, but it'll take... It'll... Yeah. It'll be quicker if we split up. I'll go on ahead while you prepare. Master, I insist on accompanying you. All right, I think I need to talk to the door again. <laughs> oh man, so I need to open up another quest. Here. Zill art missions. Get that open. All right. And then I need to get ROV missions. 
because i am currently doing three three missions at one time we're doing these the normal bass stock missions the rise of art missions and the rhapsody of vanadil all at the same time who where are we we got one uh let's see shadow word of light think fate call Right, we got to see what happened in the sea serpent grotto now we're on zillart which is uh new frontier welcome to norg okay all right i'm gilgamesh the leader see i wish that they would let me do this mission before the next mission because now we're introducing ourselves after we already know them so it's a little disjointed uh, I'm Gilgamesh, the leader of the Scallywags. My daughter filled me in with your tale. I've had my suspicion or had me suspicion about Dejuno for years, and that's why I had Lion investigate these past months. But blimey, I had no idea that the Archduke and his wee brother were and his wee brother were Zillart. The ancient civilization perished so long ago that there is no record of it. And who will be these five warriors of the crystal? If they really are the warriors that the legend speaks of, does that mean that the Bane uh, the song sings of is us? We will cause the blood of innocence to soak the earth. We will cause the world to fall into fear and despair. We are the plague that the warriors of the crystals have come to cure. I don't know nothing about no crystal warriors or ancient legends, but I do know that I'm not going to sit around uh, waiting for these Zillart to take over the world. Cleanse the world, beginning of the end. That be a lot of fancy talk, but let the, let's see them say that in front of yours truly. I'm not running away from a, no fight. But how can we stop uh, Cam's plan? We're settling, uh, settling out for the Temple of Ugpai. Oh, Ugapai. oh god not again while not an ancient as Feiyin I do know that some old ruins of Temple Ugapai beyond the Itunga jungle um, I journeyed there thinking some booty had to be hidden in a place of ancient that is where I met it with a strange old woman And the ancient spirits still in slumber come again when the minions awake. Arg, and then she vanished into thin air. I didn't know what to make of it then, but I never thought it would be something big like this. I'm sure the old lady knows, um, must know what's going on, Bargard. I want to travel to the Temple of Ugapai and find her. And before you go, stop by and see the. Uh, Chieftainess and Kazam and tell her I sent you. Maybe she has some help. No one's going to believe such a crazy story. We're going to have to work by ourselves on this one. I believe. Aldo. You want pie now? God, I want pie. Fuck you, man. Now I want pie. <laughs> I wanted cake when you came here. Now I want pie. Hmm. Aldo, how long has it been? What brings you all the way out here? I don't, hmm, I want chocolate pie. Ah, uh, do we have stuff to make chocolate pie? Damn. I don't know, man. Chocolate pie? Like a chocolate pudding pie? Lion Gilgamesh. Uh, it's Venera. She's disappeared. But why would she go anywhere now? I have a bad feeling about this. It may have something to do with Cam's plan. I'll help you look look for her. Otto, if anything happens to Verna, no, Lion, I have another job for you. What? Lion, I appreciate your words, but let me gather some information around Juno first. Just knowing that Cam is up to no good is a start. If I find out anything new, I'll uh, you will be the first to know. 
God, this is a big mug. I do not li like lemonade meringue pie. Banana cream pie is like so-so. And I do not like key lime pie. I do like a, a pecan pie though. All right, so since we're here, we're gonna go ahead and go to Sea Serpent Grotto and do the Rhapsody mission. Um, where's that? Uh, the Great Siren is calling for the destruction of one Norse coin. Doesn't tell Okay. Yes, it does. We need to go to J12 and see Serpent Grotto. How do you make Mississippi mud pie, Kate Warren? Vi, what's your favorite pie? Mine's, mine's going to be tied at probably for pecan pie or chocolate pie. J12. Go to J12 near the pond and see Serpent Grotto and click on the much for cutscene. Do not go through the ornate door, uh, which is below. Unity Warp at level 125. See Serpent Grotto. Helps you very close. After viewing the cutscene, I need to go to J12. J. Alright. I hope I don't need the silver coin for that. I did it again. Do you like really like lemon squares? I'm not a fan of lemon. And uh, sweets, really. I got an old ad that didn't minimize you. It just made your stream a little smaller and showed up at the bottom of the clickable ad. Uh, I've been getting ads where it puts me on top of the chat box. Or it puts the video on top of the chat box and plays the end. I can't believe that ad block has not figured out a way to permanently block Twitch ads. Twitch has like become such a little bitch when it comes to ads. You can still ad block YouTube, but man, Twitch is just like Amazon's just, I guess, focused all their money into being able to run ads on this fucking platform. It's ridiculous. Oh, they're incredibly obnoxious. I liked it when they at least had it where if you had Twitch Prime, then you didn't get ads, you know? Like, they even did away with, I think, Twitch Turbo. Like, Twitch Turbo, or not Twitch Turbo. Yeah, Twitch Turbo no longer uh, gives you ad-free viewing either. Which I think is bullshit. Something horribly, something's horribly wrong. Cute. 
This is a cute version of Siren. You are not Garuda, then what? Pitiful humans, you cannot hear nature. Though she acts for one to hurt. She aches for one to listen. I am left breathless knowing my name has been forgotten. No, your visage is known to me. The seductor Siren. Now this is Siren, not Garuda. Uh, ah, young daughter. You have come from a faraway age. One is mere happenstance, but to think too. Your words confound me. Do you mean to say that yet another has come from the future? I do not, um, I do. Not all are equal before Father Time, least of all one who can devour him. It is, it no longer needs wait for the future and has sent its emissary to this time. Even now he stands tall, cackling at, the, at your backs. Roa. Made my arrow strike true, fiend. That's a fusion. Possible. We cannot let it escape. book like close to here I think there is we're gonna walk down That's a ground tone. Oh, man. Wrong book. Dude, my warp ring is going to be getting a workout. Siren is very pretty in this game. <laughs> Looks a lot better than the one in uh, 14, I think. Okay. <sighs> Next we go. Oh. Yes. All right. Time to be lazy. There's a lot of stuff in like 14 that I wasn't super fond of the art style. Like I do not like the Ifrit in this game or in 14. Like Diva's okay. Garuda's eh. All the base summons I didn't really like. I did like the ones that they did in Shatterbringers though. The Shatterbringers like, man, can I trade? Although the, the car Titan thing's a little silly. The... The other stuff was fantastic and I would love to like trade. Can we, can we change the first, uh, like our 
summons to the first summons, please. Play it pretty, please. Question mark? F11, yes. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have to fight here. I don't think so. We'll summon just to be safe. I like most of 14 summons. Uh, my favorite. That was Ramu because he's like 98% beer. Ramu's all right. But the Ifrit, uh, Ifrit and uh, Garuda in the first is way cooler. And then, I mean, who can't not like um, Shiva? Halt. Remove your mask at once, that we may lay eyes upon our enemy. Our world is not a toy for you to control. This void scent has emerged from the abyss, and in, in devouring to lead Vanadil into it. Or endeavoring, not devouring. In, ev endeavoring to lead Vanadil into it. Even now, he turns his gaze to the fabrics of time, his arm pulsing as he rips a hole into the empty emptiness that lies beyond. Darkness is not to be feared, but embraced like a lover in the cold winds of the night. Where could it be? Just like a quiffle. We cannot let it fester. I care not whether uh, it be born from a higher power or if refuse to permit it to consume our land. Impotent fools. Bar guard, come hither and let my song wash over you. Well, that was creepy. Uh, after the cutscene, you will have a time buff called Ultra Egos. Time buff. Oh, okay. I do have a fight here. Here's some. Yeah. No damage to this. Well, this sucks. He's got 9 on uh, HP.
Uh, apparently, need to wait. This is much higher level. Like it's talking about like needing high levels. Can be one with 81 red mages uh, at red mage less dance or with four trust. Cause she keeps healing herself. I'm going to eventually just run out of MP. Yeah, this is an ogre. Recommended level of 90 plus if solo, including trust. 90 plus. Well, I guess this is where this is going to stop for me. Oh yeah. We, uh, I saved everything up yesterday. So that kind of sucks with Rhapsody. I guess we're closing that up. Uh, unless I can find somebody to, to do that for me. Uh, in the meantime, though, we are going to go to Kazam and pick that quest up. I was really hoping that it would stay online, like of going parallel with everything, but it doesn't look like that's the case. It looks like it's definitely after this point designed for, you know, 99 characters or the end game characters. I was reading the strats behind it and it was just like, unless you have like a level 90 plus trust, you're not going to beat it. So we're like 30 levels below that. So, oh, well. Anyway, we'll go to the Chieftain uh, Kazam. So J9 here. Oh, that's a rally crystal. We could have fucking crystal warped a while. But yes, I, I, I was getting really tired of uh, the hair. Because even the, like my beard was getting in really annoying and long and uh yeah it's like time to time to cut it all off i hate shaving though it takes way too long <laughs> i feel like i'm just wasting time cutting hair Whenever my sides grow out and I can feel them on my ears, I get annoyed. Yeah. I wish I could just like permanently have a haircut so I can just like save it just like that. No more. Don't grow anymore. <laughs> so Gilgamesh is asking to let you pass through the Temple of Ugapai, is he? That old dog hasn't changed a bit. Have you never uh, heard of the tales of um, tales of Ogopa? Do you even know what you're be getting yourself into? Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Here, take this. It opens the door that leads to the deeper parts of the temple. Have fun. 
sacrificial chain working okay so funny bit is when i was trying to get my af and temple of upa i was just completely blown away that what i could not remember in there so i've already gotten the paintbrush in there i've got a ugupa key in my thing i've got like everything i need for this place <laughs> oh we could just gotta zoom zoom me through it all right so we got the key we need to go if you've already visited the sacrificial chamber you simply need to use a home point and choose elshmo uplands 1.1 i don't think that i found the teleport there i don't think i went that far i do need to bring my unlit ladder lantern though so i'll see that's what I was talking about. Like, I have everything. Ugupaki. Unlit Lantern is probably not. You're probably in my log safe. Of course it is. I think. Can I talk to this Nomad Moogle here and get in my safe? Yeah. Could fight the bee while we're in there. What's the bee larva give? Bee larva. Let's watch the bee. No way. Use the spawn dust from above. Get you a dagger hornet. Oh, well, we don't have to do that now. If only like uh, an RPG, you could save cosmetics. Yeah, that'd be freaking fantastic. Can you imagine not having to like pay for haircuts again? You know, I envy those people that have like nice hair that they can just grow out and don't have to cut it because then they don't have to pay $25 a month to get there or however many weeks for their hair. I'd do it myself. I bought a razor and I clipped my own shit. Um, where are we going? What part? Okay. Hmm. If you already visited the Sacrifice Chamber, you'll need to home point and choose the most amount of plans. Um, if you've yet to activate your home point, there are a number of other ways to travel there. Ultimate destination mission, you'll require an un uh, unlit lantern to do so. You can collect it on the way through. I have that. Um, you're signed up to Unity Concord, talking to the Unity Concord NPC and selecting the option, bring me to a wanted area. You will enter choose the rank on the list. You will arrive at the rank or oh. Let's try this unity teleport thing. How do you do that though? How do you unity teleport? I have never tried. See that's not unity. we're going this way I started shaving my hair bald and it's nice being your own stylist uh so I've been shaving my own head bald since I was in high school um just recently started growing well I guess recently it's been a year and a half now I've been growing out the top of my hair I've been trying to see if I can get like a top knot or whatever which this look this is the crazy shit about this look at this this is going to be a this is a year and a half of growth okay 
This is all the hair I can get in a year and a half. I don't know if you can see on it. My hair is growing so slow. I don't, I don't know why it's taking so long. Oh, did you not know I had hair? <laughs> like, did you think it was just like shaved at the, uh, just longer at the top? <laughs> so yeah, I've been growing this for a year and a half. I think, it, I, I think it's because the camera is so dark. You can't see how long my hair is. Cause I only have a ring light for the stream. I don't have like uh, photo lights anymore. They used to, they got me too hot. The ruby was on point. I don't know. Vi, do you like my hair like this? Vi says yes. So as long as she likes it, that's where we're going with. <laughs> they're who I aim to please I do like it though I think I, I think it looks better on me than just a bald head I will say though that what I hate about it is uh sleeping if I don't have my hair up when I go to sleep that shit gets all on my face and I cannot stand it I don't know if anybody in chat has long hair but god I've gone fully buns before but my hair it grows back too fast to keep it I wish my hair grows back pretty quickly, but it doesn't stay long. That makes sense. Like it gets to a certain point and then it just, it stops growing all together, which is where we're at now. I want my hair to get like shoulder length eventually, but it just, it won't grow. Yours sometimes get caught in your industrial piercings, which is annoying. I can see that being annoying. Hmm. Do any of you have plugs in your ears? I got a question for anybody that's got plugs. I've been meaning to ask Bree. I keep forgetting. Yeah, uh, you've got size two. So in my sleep, my plugs are rolling out of my ears. Why is that? Is there a way to stop that? So like, here's my plug. That's rolling out of my ear in my sleep. Oh yeah. Plugs become a bi-monthly fee. You have to take them out. <laughs> Well, I'm like when I, t if I take them out before I go to bed, my holes shrink up a lot. Like last time I tried to do that, uh, the next morning was a bitch getting my plugs back in. I want to get some wooden plugs. I'm, I'm probably not going to get over to this. These are double zeros. I'm probably not going to go past that. Also, I kind of am weary. This ear, for some reason, there's not as much bottom lobe. This one has a lot of bottom lobe, but this one doesn't. And I've told Vi too, like it, it kind of scares me because I'm afraid if I go too low that I'm just gonna accidentally rip my ear, and then I'll be one of the, one of those with a like opened lobe. You've had, you've had yours for the same size for about ten years. So I actually have always wanted ear piercings and just never got them. And uh, I always felt like I wouldn't be able to get away with them or whatever. Um, but I'm in a relationship with someone who likes that kind of stuff too. And doesn't think it's weird, which is 
my past relationship was may have been a different story. I'm not saying it would, it was, it just, it may have been a different story. I didn't feel comfortable with it. Um, but my current relationship, it works out really good. And then on top of that, um, I decided to get my ears pierced for charity and that if I didn't like it, anyway, if I didn't like it, I'd just take them out and, uh, we just kept going with it and I've really liked it. Um, it was the same year that I've waxed my legs and no shaved my legs and waxed my chest and armpits. <laughs> I want more piercings, but I think my mom would not be happy with me. <laughs> Cause I'd like to get this pierced and I don't know. What is this called? What piercing is this? <laughs> what is it? Oh man. Uh, Labre is this, right? Just bridge. It's not a special word. So I want to get the bridge fierce and I wouldn't mind having an eyebrow ring. And I had thought about getting lip rings for a while because I could get these two points pierced in between uh, my beard points. But Vi was telling me how much it screwed up uh, her gum line. So I've kind of decided not to do it now. <laughs> Dude, just come through the door. You know, fine. I'll re-kill the guardian if I have to. So, uh, my girlfriend, uh, Violet has, she hasn't been talking. She's playing Prey right now, by the way. So like she's been here. He's on the other side of my monitors. So when you hear me say Vi or asking Vi a question, he's literally on the other side of my computer. Uh, anyhow, she has or had an industrial. She's taken it out because I think the lot, the holes don't line up right anymore. I believe is what she was saying. And damn it. We end up killing everything in here. Anyway, uh, the holes don't line up anymore. And then she had her, uh, Labre, is it Labre? This pierced and that fucked up her gums. Holes are fine. It's the middle part. The bar started digging into my ear and it made it raw and scabby. Now you have a permanent dent there. Oh, God, it's always the damn ninjas too. They give like 600 XP. Yeah, we're just killing everything. I've learned that the person that pierced it shouldn't, uh, shouldn't have, or didn't know uh, what they were doing because I don't have the right, uh, kind of ear shape for it. You've mentioned that before, but I've never heard that there's a, a like 
type of ear shape that you can and can't get. Does that mean I would, I'm going to have to have you come look at my ear and tell me if I have the ear shape. Cause I would like to get some more piercings, but I don't know what I can pull off. I do want to get some wooden plugs sometime. Wooden plugs are, can be expensive though. I'm about to just kill all this at one time. Kill it all together. Oops. Wooden plugs are nice, but you got to be careful showering with them on or to them dry them out. Hmm, I didn't actually know that, but I just take them out when I shower, I guess. What I like about the wooden plugs is they're not as heavy because I have glass plugs, which are really nice. These are just hole plugs uh, or tunnels. I just have tunnels in right now, but I've got uh, two pairs of glass plugs, but they're very heavy. I've seen some cute fake industrial jewelry though, where I could put small bars or hoops in my existing holes and have a chain connecting them. Yeah, that actually would look really cute. That way you get to continue, you at least continue using your piercing. Oh my God. I'm killing everything in this room. Uh, my piercer talked about uh, that when she did mine. She was worried at first that mine wouldn't have enough space at the top, but we measured it and it worked out. Oh, okay. Sweet. I got a cup of noodles and smoked uh, smoked a bowl. But it's still not my wait, but it's still not pie. Yeah, still not pie. <laughs> I love how it's still like a little bit of a disappointment. It's just like there's still no pie. I think when you really want pie, there's no substitute. It, and it was just cup noodle. So. Damn it, not long enough. Ugh. This is such a pain in the butt. I need a fucking add on that counts how long it this takes. Uh, so you have to like look at that and then don't push a button and then you have to wait. There's supposed to be a tell where your screen flashes, but I've never been able to notice that. So I always used to wait 30 seconds, which I had a little, I used to use a timer <laughs> back in the day, but I need a, a little window or add on that just counts when I can push the button. 
You want a super fan? Uh, you went super fancy and put an egg in it. Oh, I hear you. Trying to make it like real ramen. <laughs> All right, uh, so I need to go get my torch. Do I have the unlit? Let's read this. Okay. Temple Guardian. Pitcher, Grant Door. Flame of Rancor. At this point, you should enter the Den of Rancor, Tom Berry Invaders, and drop the Unlit Lantern. I have that. Trade your Unlit Lantern to the Altar Rancor at E5. Okay. E5. Uh, round. Okay. All right, I got them summoned. I'm glad I'm still ninja. I need to level white man. So I can just have sneak and just all today. All right, so we're gonna go light this thing. Went for the dire bats, so I could just get away with it. All right, altar of rancor. Raid. Oh, it's lit. All right. All right. Uh, unlit lantern. Uh, drop down the hole uh, at the F7. Okay. There's a hole. F7. Other side of F7. It says to drop here. All right. Once you drop an F7 and up. Right. That's right. And up here. And we're gonna have to light these. I think I just need to kill it. Alright, we're gonna kill everything down here. For most of everything. There's a lot of mobs here. I'm going to go get a book. <laughs> Does I have to do this anyway? Was that re -raise? I can maybe do it without aggro in the tomberries. We'll see. I doubt it though.
Something ain't right. That ain't good. We just aggroed. This hurts. All right, need to read this. Trade a rank four coin. Wait a minute. Did I not? Oh, I didn't get it, did I? Oh no, I traded the. Oh my god, I'm a dumbass. We have to do all this over again. Oh, I'm dumb. Well, fuck. I, no, I didn't realize that I didn't trade. Like, I thought I traded the lantern, the unlit, but I traded the lantern, which I didn't get anything. I should have double checked that. But I was like, oh, no, that's fine. So we got to go back upstairs, relight the damn thing. Once I get lucky and somebody just happens to run down here and light all this stuff. I want to get back up. No. Well, that's not so bad. Had to aggro the bat, didn't you? Just had to do it. Dan Toto, that's mine. I missed anyway. All right, we need to resummon anyway because they lost healing. Did you skip Shantanto, my dude? Something screwed up there. God, I remember even opening this for people. Oh, those were the days.
I think I just have to go around here and go right back, come back down. Cause I can just use the same drop, hopefully. Earlier we were talking about how big these dungeon were. It's amazing to me that how badly my, or how badly and how good. Well, that sounds weird. Uh, my memory is back when I was playing this game, I had most of these maps memorized and I could go straight to like all the locations I needed to go to. Uh, nowadays I'd say my memory is garbage, but I am surprised at how much I do remember. There's certain areas that I didn't do a lot of that I guess didn't stick in my memory, but there was a lot of stuff that I did remember and I was kind of surprised that I do remember it. I'm curious if I can make it to Dragon's Dairy on memory again. That'd be interesting to see. Now, do I have to do this four times or can I do this with one lantern? I think it's, yeah, I have to do this four times. You need four and lanterns. So this might take a bit. It would help if there is a closer lantern spot. There's one in the south down there. That might actually. Oh, the, the other ones are colored flames. Never mind. I guess it wouldn't be helpful. All right, so now I got to go back up. Real, I got to do this three more times. Are you unlocking memories going through this again? Yes. Um, I'm actually surprised at how I have not been getting very emotional. And I don't know if it's just the streaming aspect, but like when I'm doing stuff by myself and I get like memories and start thinking about, you know, like when I do it, I get real emotional and teary eyed. For some reason, though, when I play uh, stream it, though, uh, I don't get as emotional. Does that make sense? But I can tell you, I can be listening to a song from Final Fantasy that'll kick back memories and I'll start fucking boohooing. <laughs> but when I'm streaming, I don't get that as much. It was crazy, too. Um, I ran into some... Well, I ran into their character. They were AFK, but I've ran into some people that I actually played this game with when I first started playing this game. I ran into uh, him and his wife's characters in the game. I haven't been able to get them while they weren't AFK, but I'm very surprised to see them again. And I don't have a way to get in touch with them because this is like last time I spoke to him was pre Discord era. So I'm hoping I get a chance to talk to him again and try to reconnect and like get a discord contact with him. I think it's because there's a lot of time and investment in MMOs, not to mention the community aspect of it. Uh, the people that I'm talking about, like I met them before they got married or they even met, met them before they met. Um, 
met them uh, when they got married. Like in real, in real life, I've met them. I've met their kids when they were born. I held one of their babies. I actually got a picture of me holding one of their uh, daughters when they were just like newborn. And those kids are now like 16. <laughs> Speaking of which, the problem with this game, though, is there's not like a message waiting system. I uh, sent him a friend request, but I hadn't heard back from it. How do you look at friends list? I'm not even sure how the friends list work in this. Oh, my dear bats. I aggroed every bat in here. Didn't notice my sound. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't know how I'm going to catch them because if they have like link shells or talking stuff or they don't have anything muted by the time they get back to their computer, my message can be like well pushed off. That's why I tried to send them a friend request on every one of the, cause they were running multiple alts, which I know every name on that, uh, that they're running is tied to, uh, his, uh, their kids names and, uh, his wife's, um, Names that she's gone by on like Final Fantasy and World of Warcraft. Because I actually knew his wife before I met him. But I haven't been able to reach him. And I'm afraid that I'm going to end up having to switch games before I get a chance to uh, chat with him.
All right. Got two more lamps to do. Do, 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 do. Well, hopefully players don't exit the door. I'm reading this thing that says that if players exit the door, then I'm lighting the thing. It will reset all those lights. So hopefully while I'm doing this run, someone doesn't come in and exit that door. Wish I had like Mazurka or fucking flea. Let this go quicker. Over here. Yeah. Take a left and then diagonally across. And kind of diagonally across. Like not the first one. I know this looks tedious, but back in the day, you wouldn't have been doing this solo um, because this is a BCNM fight that we're going to. So you would have like five other people with you. So you wouldn't be going back and forth. Your whole group would go get the, your lanterns or at least four people would go get their lanterns lit. And then y'all would go open the door. You know what I mean? Like I'm having to do it this way because I am solo. And I guess they made it since you can do this solo, unlike a lot of the like uh, weighted pad stuff in the game, because they've added quests for weighted pads that give you an item that lets you open it on your own. But I think the reason why they haven't done this is since this can physically still be done by a single person, like we're doing here, that they haven't done it. Which I wish they would just make it so this lantern um, has four charges, and then once you've lit all four, then it, then it goes unlit. If they would have done that, I think that would have made this a little more bearable. One more. No one more we can play. 67. I'm going to do some leveling after this. Mm -hmm. It's so quiet in here. Pick a Final Fantasy 11 track that you guys would like to hear. What's your favorite town music, area music, or whatever? We'll put that on while we're doing the last one. Might be too late, but we should have done that earlier. Mm -hmm. I think back to when I played this game, I've, I've mentioned it before. Um... When I was playing this game, I pretty much was super into anime and I was watching Naruto on loop. So at the time, I think it, the, when I was playing this, it was enough uh, episodes of Naruto that it was like the past the tuning exams. And I would just watch like episodes one through 50 or something while the new episodes were coming out. And after I was done, I'd start over, and do it all over again. Winners, really? Go. Winner's theme. I'm actually surprised. 
I'm not a huge fan of the Winhurst music. And that's got like water music. I like the Heaven's Tower music there. I'm noticing I'm getting my speed and my menus back again. Uh, that, well, back when I played this, like I had macros for everything, but I, I got really good at menuing and I could menu faster than some macros. <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but the macros for some reason have, have like this kind of button delay and menuing doesn't. You see how I can like pop through that menu before it like even loads up. Is that, uh, can I drop there? I think I can, yeah. Alright, I think I was supposed to be dropping. Dealer's Choice? Which one's Dealer's Choice? We did it. We opened the door. And now that we've opened the door, we can use this telepoint and never have to do that again. Oh, okay. I thought you meant there was the actual song called Steeler's Choice. Okay. Again. We're playing, playing dangerously, not uh, not getting re-raises and stuff. Oop. Smack my microphone with my coffee cup. We need to kill the black mage. So the black mage is mob. That one. I cannot move. There we go. Uh, not grab. We need. We're good. Scary part's done. Then all this guy does is perfect dodge. Oh, 
Actually, I'm curious about something. After this, we're gonna look up something on YouTube and see if I can find it. I'm gonna. Show, I want to see if I can find my old first Link Shells uh, YouTube video. Oh my God! It is still here. I need to download this video. I have something to play for you guys. Uh, I'm going to have to mute it though, because the music's copyrighted. Wait, lay down thy blades. Welcome, brave, event brave adventurers. Thine arrival can only mean the one thing. They have once again begun their rise. Thou must forgive my companions. They remain bound to this place by their spirits of the past. Um, though they do not yet realize it. Ah, I have yet to introduce myself. My name is Grav... Grav... Hmm... Gravation <laughs> or Graviton. I'm going to just call you Grab. A scholar from the lost civilization of Kulu. However, my colleagues often referred to me as Obdinate Tonberry. All right. I represent the collective consciousness of the remains of um, what was once a great race of population or pop people. Listen carefully for the tale I'm about to tell thee reaches far across the plains of time back 10,000 years. It all started with a mere crystal and the mystery power, mystical, mysterious power it held. Hmm. All right, deep beneath Vanadil rests five enormous crystals, all more powerful than any force of the planet. The Zillart used that power to develop their civilization. The five arcs, also known as crags, tap the crystals of their power. And Decklefoot's tower controls the flow of energy. However, this was only the beginning. They had other plans for the power of the crystal. The gate of the gods. It is said that uh, bringing the power of the five crystals together will open the gate to the heavens and transform Vanadil into the paradise of the gods. However, we Kulu, uh, uh, along with the followers of the goddess and dawn maidens, were against this plan. We voiced our disapproval of, uh, to the Zillart, but they were too driven by their self-centered motives to lend an ear to our pleas. The Gate of the Gods, the floating island of Tulu, was constructed and the Zillart's plan were put into motion.
fantastic amount of energy was drained from the crystal and forced and in, uh, focused into Tulu. However, while that was taking place, Weekalu led an attack on the northmost arc and destroyed it, putting it into the uh, 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 amiable plan. Unfortunately, the act caused the crystal to spin out of control. The world was engulfed in a blinding light and the Zillart were destroyed. The land where the Zillart, res uh, Zillart re reside sank into the abyssal depths of the sea, while the overwhelming power of the crystal laid waste to the Northlands, leaving the them uninhabitable. God, I forgot all this information was from this quest. There's a lot of lore in this one. Those Kalu who survived uh, the happenings on that day fled here. However, the power of the crystal left its mark on us. As time passed, our bodies and minds degenerated into forms you see standing before you. We do not regret our actions. It was a small sacrifice to save Vanadil. With, uh, what will happen... Uh, what will happen happens <laughs> one can sit and ponder over what could have been but that would only be a waste of time we must move on this world uh, belongs to all who reside on its fertile soil we could not let it uh, be transformed into a mere playground for the gods however when i learned that Decklefoot's tower remained unchanged even after the incident i could sense that something was amiss at that moment i knew our fight was not yet over Heed my words, young adventurer. Thou must travel to the small island of Zepwell, located on the southwest of Bastok. There, thou will find the remains of an ancient temple. Uh, there, thou must join the eight fragments of light. Only then will the dawn maiden show thee the path uh, thou must follow. The fragments can be found embedded into eight stone monuments located in remote areas in Vanadil. Uh, as to the precious whereabouts, that is for thee to discover. My time has passed. There is nothing more I can do but to stand back and watch this drama unfold. Ah, uh, yes, there is one thing I must tell thee. Beware of the elder prince of the Zillart. Uh, the bond he has formed with the crystal is great. His magic is truly powerful. He has already crossed the boundaries of men and stepped into the forbidden realm of the gods. Thou must be careful. I will not pray for thy or I will not pray for thy success as it is not a prayer that will lead thee to victory. Thou wilt do what thou must to overcome this great evil. I want to make a joke about uh, politics in America right now because of that line, but I'm not going to. Well, I'll do this. Thoughts and prayers. Um, here is the first fragment to start thee on thy journey. Now be off. There is not much time. See, even the clue knew that thoughts and prayers isn't what you need. You need action. Uh. all right so this reminded me of of something very important to me okay um so this is going to be my first link shell in final fantasy um the leader at the time actually cropped together a bunch of videos they recorded in fraps i'm going to mute it and put some final fan um the music on to it but yeah so i'm this guy right here so by you might actually want to pay attention to this or look at this uh i am barak let's see if i can get my mouse to show monitor capture cursor okay i'm gonna get some music too let me get it some music Let's see. Um, 
what's a good track? FFXR. Sam music, maybe? What's this melody? No. Uh, let's do rolling berry fields. All right. So I'm going to start this over. So, oh God, I hit the wrong button. So this is me right here. That's me. This is Gimpy Elf. Um, this is Labin. This is Butters. That's Fury Fist, the leader. This is Odysseus friend of mine that I brought in uh, this is Lola who I've been trying to connect uh, contact uh, her and her husband those are the people I've found that are still playing um, I think that stay in love which is her husband um, I forget who this is actually that wait it was Lola and then her friend Alex yeah so this this is Alex here you can't see her because of my camera um, I forget who this is. Anyway, I'll play the video. It's got a really sad soundtrack, but it's copyrighted. There you go. Gilgamesh. Oh, it's probably Xanthi. So this is all of us. Who's Latoil? That was her name. But there's actually video here, just not, not just screenshot. It was a Kiva. I actually uh, got the Odysseus account and Gilgamesh's account. Princess Paladin. This is Gil uh, Gimpy Elf. Who is our set, the second in command. Uh, Fury Fist doing uh, primals. I don't think I was there for that one. Nope. I went there for that uh, Fenrir clear. I think it was because I was a thief and I was uh, at the time I was a thief and they needed uh, casters at the time. All right. So that's running out to do Smirgay, I think. I was the raid leader. So I, I put together all that. Yes, there's that. So that was the fight. That combination ended that, which is fighting Smirg, which we didn't get the drop. Oh God, rain. There it is. Me fight lumberjack. <laughs> uh, this is when I got Unger Boom or I think it was Unger Boomerang. Having to take a whole raid. Do Unger. I wish I could play the music for y'all because it's like I would start crying again. But it's copyrighted. <laughs> then I want to save my VOD, so. This is us doing COP. There, there I was off to the side. And all this is going to be uh, Fury Fist's perspective because uh, he, he's the one who recorded it all. Yeah, but I'm the if you see right here, it's very like grainy, but that's me. I'm the party leader because I was taking everybody through COP. It was my job to research all the quests and every like I did everybody's unlock for this. Just about everybody's unlock for this entire link shell. Uh, 
it was my job to pretty much put all the events together to pull everybody through all the missions i think this is rank 10. yeah i think this is sandoria rank 10. You can, if you would like to see this, search Paragon Final Fantasy Sylph or Final Fantasy 11 Sylph, and you can watch this video that actually has the audio. All right, so. <laughs> So this is a BCNM that we used to try to farm for drops. I forget what, uh, but this boss will perfect dodge and you can't do anything to it. So me and Gilgamesh just stopped attacking and sat down and watched Gimpy tank it since we couldn't do anything while it was perfect dodged. And me and Gimpy at the time were like very, very close. Uh, I don't know how many pictures of there's a lot of us together. There's the warrior of the crystal, which is the end of Zillart. I was, hold on. I was being asked. Oh, so this was being asked if I had done dynamis today. Cause they wanted me to go to a dynamis run. Cause back then you didn't have static dynamis groups. Everybody just asked everyone they knew to go to dynamis. So this was someone asking me to go to a another world pop for Dynamis. That was so cool. You could literally just anybody that was walking by, you want to go to Dynamis? Here, have an hourglass. Because it was like really tough at the time. So we're seeing into the future a little bit here because this is he's recorded the all the endings. I guess for him this was the he was done because I think he quit the game after this. But yeah, we're gonna skip past that. Anyhow, here's when we were doing Sky Gods. And that's Faust kicking everybody's ass. Because they pulled threat again. These screenshots are so pixelated. <laughs> See me running into the side back then, like everybody wasn't amazing players. So we would have people run in just to spirit so within with the sword you would have meditate sub job and meditate 300 tp run in and spirits within and back off because it was like mobs could get tp and it, the tp was devastating and people were not good at this game people were running this game on shit computers so everybody was always lagging and everything else so that's that's how we did it all so i would go in and do sneak attacks every time sneak attack was up and i would spirit within every single time I got 300 TP. And that was about all we did to prevent beating TP. Cause we didn't have an army of black mages back then. Cause that's what you, you later, everybody did. They just, they just took casters. And this is, is this Smirge like just ruin everybody with Bierga, uh, Bierga, Arga? No, this is Suzaku. Cause you had to like bond, like it would two hour cause it was like a red mage and you would, you would bind it and run away. We almost wiped it. So yeah, we almost wiped it and cock was the only tank we had left. I love how though it's like, oh, Cox amazing stand. It was all up to the healers to keep them from dying anyway. <laughs> Looking back at how bad we were at this game is amazing. It looks like it was played on a 3DS <laughs> on 2004 computers.
God, that's the name of it. I think Kevin Blade. I don't even recognize some of these names. There's a lot of these people I didn't, after Paragon, I didn't see them after that. And so this is Fury Fist was the shell holder. And instead of pa like this pissed me off so bad. Instead of passing on the torch, this asshole breaks the link pearl or, <laughs> or breaks the link shell. So we end up having to go make our own again. And this is the ending of the the link shell. Or guild. You would look at it as a guild now. There it is. So yeah, that was my first year in Final Fantasy, or, uh, Final Fantasy 11. See if it, yeah, it's got my posts. I post so this is my old uh YouTube so this is seven years ago it was the last time I watched this video and then I posted one right here All right, that made me a little too teary eyed than I should have. And now when I talk about Final Fantasy, that was just the first year. I was in multiple link shells after that. Um, Izerg is the one I talk about the most because that was the last one I was in probably for the longest too. But we're the, those, that's the link shell I was in that did all the H&M camping and all that stuff. Paragon was just like when everyone was first starting out. You know what I mean? Like. I was, I was one of the only people 75 in that link shell for a, for a while. That's why, like I had done my sky unlock with a lot of JP players. So that's why I, like, I knew where everything was at the time. I, I'm the one that took them through it. Ugh. man, I had a lot of responsibility back then. <laughs> All right. Um, where do we go from here? Funny that I have to sit here with a guide now. Um. So after. We got the dark fragment. Your next mission. Let's see. Use for your next mission. At the cutscene, walk out of the section for the chamber. You're zoning the map too. The... Okay. So next. an NPC when you get the fragment oh my god well this is gonna be fun this is gonna be a lot of fun I'm joking oh dear this is gonna be a pain So we have to go get all of the fragments. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if that, what's the fast way to listen? I think I can just take my juggernaut and teleport. I don't know that I picked up a teleport for a thing. I did not. I'm going to get a jerk now. I wish I had some of my original wow stuff too. That'd be really cool to look back on.
One second. When did I start playing WoW? Uh, I started... Uh, I see. I got my first... My WoW... Uh, WoW and Final Fantasy ran parallel with each other. Uh, there was bits and times where I would stop playing one or the other based on like... Like I think shortly after Paragon disbanded, I stopped for a little bit. When I mean a little bit, like a couple of months and then went back. Um, there was a time where I didn't have money and I had a sub or blah, blah, blah. So just know that like there's small parts of times where I would ping pong back before and there was times that I played them both at the same time so on and so forth so when World of Warcraft came out it was a year after Final Fantasy 11 was out everybody was dropping like flies from Final Fantasy 11 it was very very few people had stayed so uh, a lot of link shells broke because everybody switched to WoW or EverQuest 2 uh, if you don't know EverQuest 2 released in the same year as World of Warcraft did Some people don't know that or don't remember that so it was, it was a big sundering of uh, guilds and link shells on 11. So I went and played uh, World of Warcraft when it launched. I had actually played a lot of the, or I had, I'm sorry, I had watched someone play uh, beta. So I was really excited. Um, made a character, didn't really like the gameplay. And I was comparing it a lot to Final Fantasy 11 at the time. So I stopped playing for a little bit. And then I came back a, a month, like, no, not even a month later. I guess I, I stopped playing for a couple of weeks and a friend taught me back into playing. So I got off Night Elf. He told me to start like a gnome or whatever. And I think I played a gnome rogue um, and I played a paladin. So I got paladin like 50 and then uh, I got a rogue up to 60. I think that was cap at the time. During that time was when they were having all the server troubles with World of Warcraft because of all the servers dropping and whatever. So I pretty much got all that leveled without paying a sub or only paying one month sub. Something, something very small like that. And uh, some of my friends had quit playing and it was just kind of me and I didn't want to go looking for a guild. So... I found someone to buy my account. So I sold my first World of Warcraft account for $200. Taking in mind that I did not uh, actually pay a sub. And if I did, maybe. No, I didn't pay a sub at all because I had the free 30 days from buying the game. And then I got free time for all that. So yeah, I made some money off of that, that play and went back to 11. Um, played 11 for a while. And then went back to Warcraft, World of Warcraft again. Again, we're talking like months. I, in my brain, it feels like it was years, but it wasn't. It was like months. Uh, went back to WoW. Um, got a guild uh, going and um, joined uh, ha joined the Paragon Guild. The people from Final Fantasy that on World of Warcraft. Uh, and then we merged with a guild called LOT. We did Molten Core. We did BWL. Um AQ 40 up until Cthune. We didn't actually kill Cthune and all that stuff. And then when Burning Crusade came out, we were all really excited to continue on with uh, Burning Crusade. And the leader of LOT did not like that uh, the majority of the like responsibility was on our guild because our guild were the main players. We, we didn't have the numbers, but we had like we were the main raid officers we were you know we were the ones calling the shots for everything because they sucked at it and they couldn't do it so they didn't like us being in it and they didn't want us in the guild anymore so the what what they did is they said that they were going to quit and not raid anymore so they could make or so they could shed us so we started our own guild after that and burn crusade and it didn't go far because we didn't have that many people uh we got up to Tempest Keep and Girls Lair. Like we did Girls Lair and was started on Tempest Keep when our uh guild started falling apart. I need to look at the map. Hold on. Hold on. All right, I need to go back to it. Okay. Anyway, our guild started falling apart, so um once it started falling apart again, I'm like, screw it. God, man, Burning Crusade was awesome though because Karazhan was so much fun. Anyhow, so think up to about um, 
Tempest Keep. Tempest Keep is about where I stopped and went and played Final Fantasy again. You start to see a pattern where like something bad would happen in a guild and I would leave and go back to the other game, right? And then I'd come back to their game and people were like, oh dude, I haven't seen you in so long. You should join my life. Yeah, that's pretty much how my life went. <laughs> um, so I was back in Final Fantasy. I don't know what made, made me stop playing Final Fantasy other than like life choices or finance or something along that lines. I cannot get up from here. Can I? I'm going to have to go all the way around. Think. So, uh, so quit World of Warcraft. Went back to Final Fantasy. I came back to Final Fantasy or World of Warcraft right as uh, Black Temple was coming out. No, before Black Temple. Um, it was during Serpent Sun, Serpent Shrine. Because Black Temple uh, was in beta, or Black Temple was on the PTR. Um, went and played PTR where you could build a character and mess around on the PTR. And it did like one run, a Serpent Shrine, with some friends. Because they were short one night. So I got to see the content, but that was it. <laughs> I think the same thing happened with Tempest Keep. Uh, Black Temple came out, though, and I had planned to play Black Temple... But I couldn't get a raid group. So when I couldn't get a raid group, I quit again and went back to Final Fantasy. It came back again uh, at the end before, like Wrath was announced, but the beta wasn't out yet. I came back for like a month, messed around in the new zone outside of uh, Sunwell. Yeah, that was it. And then I had nobody, like it didn't have anybody to raid with or anything. So I just stopped playing. I think I leveled another character or something. And switched back to Final Fantasy, came back to World of Warcraft, or actually I was not playing anything for a bit and was able to play Wrath of the Lich King beta even though my account was canceled. So I got to play for free. So I played uh, Wrath of the Lich King, loved everything, a bit, everything about it, and then resubbed to Wrath of the Lich King. And I stayed sub for Wrath for the majority until I sold my Final Fantasy account or my World of Warcraft account. And I sold my World of Warcraft account for a Final Fantasy account. <laughs> and started playing um, Final Fantasy again. And this is when I started dueling, uh, or like staying dual subbed. I, I kept Wrath installed or active, uh, active sub in Wrath after, like when I came back during Wrath. So we'll see. Started Wrath, got to max level, did Night Ceramus, sold the account. Played Final Fantasy for a bit, knew a friend that wanted to play World of Warcraft, didn't want to play Final Fantasy anymore. So I traded, so not sold, we traded accounts. I wanted to get back into World of Warcraft a couple of months later because everybody uh, was getting ready to do Ulda raid. So I got an account, um, a friend, real life friend of mine's account is, I think the character name was Burkus, and I played on a different server that I had always been played on as with a different character under a different name for a long time. Uh, we were doing old uh, raids here. You want to talk about drama? We got more guild drama coming up and, uh, so we were doing raids and we were one of the top, I think we were the top guild on the server as far as like progression clear. Like we were close to being the first on that server to down, um, to do Alda or Alda, Alda, whatever. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It was in, it was in wrath, whatever. And, uh, apparently, so the, the link shell leader and his wife, right? Where, I mean, they kind of ran the link shell. How the hell do I get down here? Here it is. They ran the link shell. And then the raid leader, which was one of the main tanks, um, they were, in, well, I guess I thought they were, I always thought they were just friends. Well, apparently the girl of the, like the wife of the raid or the guild, whatever, 
goes on vacation and goes and uh, stays with the raid leader for like two weeks and ends up them sleeping together and stuff. And then the guild leader gets all pissed off, disbands the guild. It was a whole to do. And it was like me and two other, cause it was, I was a DPS warrior at the time and I was in a group with the, the rogues and we all dude we were all just making fun of the whole situation for a while after that and from there we went and played uh i think overwatch i think overwatch came out around about the same time or something or something like that i remember playing overwatch with them and doing other games with them yeah <laughs> and then after that happened their guild fell apart of course how it always does when the guild fell apart, uh, I still kept my account active, but I went and played Final Fantasy again and then came back for Ice Crown. So it's just a lot of back and forth. I, I wanted to get to that story about the guild falling apart because of the raid leader or the guild leader's wife sleeping with the raid leader. <laughs> That's freaking hilarious. All right, we need to go this way. I'm thinking back to all the drama in this game. Hey, you, you said you've never played this or played past the beginning of this game, correct? There's there was two highly coveted items when I played. And I think I've told this story while I've been playing this before. It was a um, e-body and a riddle. And I may get them uh, flip flopped, I because I, my memory's not completely clear on how it all went down. Um, but I had tons of DKP, and I was up for riddle after we had gotten so many riddle drops back to back. Our uh, link shell leader at the time, which I guess the guild leader, um, didn't even have warrior leveled at the time. And I was up and ready to get riddle. And this happened for Ebody too. The same situation. I just can't remember uh, which one was first or what have you. Anyhow, um, I think Riddle was last. Anyhow, he had got Ebody from the last Nidhog, and then I was up for the next riddle. Um he wasn't gonna get Ebody, but he decided he was gonna take it. But he was that's right. Ebody dropped first because it dropped on the Nidhog before. And I was up for the e-body and he said, don't worry about it. I'm not going to roll on riddle since I got the e-body. So I was like, oh, okay. So riddle drops and he ends up taking it because he's got more DKP to me. He's got seniority. Although he didn't have a tank level or a warrior level. He shouldn't have even got it. However, he gets it. We have dynamis that night. Um, he's trying to like skill and level up or whatever. And one of our mutual friends, we've been playing, we've been playing with the same people for years, uh, Wasa Bahito, I even remember the name, uh, him and them two got into it over something. I don't remember what the whole to do was, but they got into it and our link shell leader calls him a racial slur, an Asian racial slur. Again, they were friends. They used to say this stuff to each other all the time. This was, I guess at the time normal. And this was this is back when this happened more often than not in gaming. And it wasn't as like, I mean, it's always been frowned upon, but it's never, it was never quite as it is now. I'm not trying to justify it. I'm just trying to set that it wasn't as surprising back then as it would be now. Um, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So Wasabahito reports him and gets his account permabanned the same week and day so the day before he got ebody that day he gets riddle gets banned perma banned he took ebody and riddle from me proceeded to get banned and then expected me to give him an account because i had multiple accounts to come back and play the game we had words we had a lot of words after that situation Alright, where? So I took that. Wait, take that. Take that. I need to go to the exit D. So I need to take a loop. I don't know if any of this.
Yeah, you hit 18 and went well. He got canceled out of what? No, I'm talking about Final Fantasy. We're talking about Final Fantasy here. That's why I was asking if you knew what a riddle and an e-body was. Yeah. Because it was very, very coveted items back then. Like, very coveted. His justification of why I didn't need a riddle, even though he got one, is because I had another account that had a riddle, but I didn't get it. It was the account that I, I got from someone else. Like, I, I never received a riddle. But he's like, you already have one, so you have a Zerg character. I need a Zerg character. And I already had, like, Castrum and anything he wanted. So, I love that dude to death, and he annoys the living piss out of me, too. I haven't talked to him in years. Like, he... I think he went off the rails and got into like steroids and stuff. The kid was always like, Violet, this is the guy that always ate soup that I was telling you about. Like he was super skinny. Like I met him at FanFest in 2007 and like body slammed him. <laughs> we were like wrestling around a body slammed him. This kid weighed probably like 98 pounds, hundred pounds. He ends up putting up on a whole lot of weight later on, growing his hair out. Like he took a bunch of weight gainer and shit like that and starts taking steroids and gets crazy into steroids. I have not talked to him since then. I think I still have him on steam though. I got stories for days. If y'all want us to ever like just swap gaming stories from MMOs, I've got tons of them. I think I even have documents of like screenshot conversations back in World of Warcraft because I was the raid leader for so long and I had to deal with a lot of BS there. So I had to like, it was protocol in our, for our guild to record all conversations when there was like an issue with other players in the guild. Doesn't this sound stupid? So I had to screenshot any conversations I had with Raiders as an officer. Right, dropped here. I don't know if, oh, they are IT. Holy shit. Whoa. Whoa. Where am I? All right. We need to get now head east. Now we dropped here. All right, we could this way. The wall. You had to record conversations even when it wasn't confrontational. No, if it was someone complaining or having an issue with another player in the guild, um, we had to uh, screenshot the conversations for proof of what we did or what we said to the person and what they were alleging. It was so officers could review it. Does that make sense? I mean, yeah, but it was, it's, it's still strange. Cause that was the only time I've ever had to do that. And I've been an officer in video games until I quit. Like when I quit, when I turned 30, right before I started or before I started streaming is when I quit all MMOs. And that was the last time. And I, I had was the officer of anything because I raid leaded then. And that was during um, Alexander and Heaven's Ward. And our guild fell apart, or our raid leader, a raid group fell apart for the third time. And I just got fucking sick of it, said I was done. I was tired of having to keep putting groups together and just only for them to last for a little bit. Everybody's starting to mesh well, and then it fall apart again. It was so annoying. And it's always schedules. 
I mean, when you're dealing with older people, it always schedules. Let me take the left. This map is huge. Goliath beetles? Well, they're not. No. Go down here past the napalms. We need to go west to a thing. I don't think anything else aggravates me down here. How long have we been walking? My, my jaw hurts, so I know I've been running my mouth for a while, haven't I? Been talking too much. Just know that I have to do this like five or six times. There's no like quick teleport gonna ever come back here, is there? No. Alright, we exit the Lithane. I wander to the end. Yeah. This side chat was my streaming great. I don't usually don't have that many stories to tell. Um, about like when I'm playing games and stuff, but Final Fantasy and MMOs is something that I can talk about at length just because that's, I've always had the most experience with that and the most weird interactions with that. I actually met my ex-wife in this game, which is a whole nother story that I don't care to tell anymore. Did a lot of young and stupid things, you know? A water fragment, a simple fragment of light. The way in which it shines suggests that it is resonating with something. All right. We have the water fragment. Now. Oh my God. I guess we'll do it in order to this. All right, now we got to do the ice fragment. The ice fragment is in Feyen. I think we can teleport in that. We can teleport. Oh, uh, teleport number two, though. I don't know if I have that. Hold on. We're going to see. If we have it, we will go. Um... Where'd it be? Is this one? Oh. There it is. Feyen. I have Feyen number one. Players that have access to Feyen point two can teleport there. The cloister is a short walk north. Uh, characters that have a mini tuning fork of ice can warp to the cloister directly from northern Sandaria. Players with uh, the access to the Warp service can warp to Cobain Arena for a quick travel to Fagan. Okay, well, that's what we're done. Uh, where do we need to get? Uh, once outside, we need to get to G9. Yeah, because we can go. Is the G9 open?
if anybody in chat is like sitting here watching this stream and going, I, I kind of wonder if I should play Final Fantasy 11. Is it worth it nowadays? I want to say yes. I really want to say yes. This game will always be uh, worth it to me. Yeah, way too many windows open. Why is my settings window open? There we go. Oh my god, I did not refresh my silent hole before coming here. That was done. All right, we need to go buy a silent hole after this, which is a guaranteed 30k. Where are we going? Take a right up here. If we see the Eastern Channel or one of Western Channel, I don't remember where they are. The, uh, the maps that I have here are not NM based anymore, which kind of sucks. I wish they would uh, have the NM maps. I don't know why they don't. They should have every NM displayed on here. I don't, I'm just poopy that they don't. Wonder what jingle lot. What are you? I wonder what you drop. Might Google the NMs here at some point. I also need to pick up a re-raise scroll. I've been kind of risking risking for biscuits here. Oh my god, that crystal's up far away. Vi, do you think my coffee's super frozen or what do you think? I don't know. I guess if it is super frozen, we can throw it in that blender thing too, huh? So I think after we get this fragment, I'm going to take a small restroom break and get some coffee. Violet made me some uh, Father's Day frozen coffee because she's the best. And a wonderful, wonderful partner. You guys can't have her. How's prey, by the way, honey? Is it still spooping you, or you've moved on to something else? Speaking about other games, uh. We were watching, I was watching TikTok or something yesterday and uh, no, it was Reddit and someone had the music for, uh, uh, Terraria playing and I instantly wanted to play Terraria again. Does anybody else get like that? Not so much spoopy, a lot of backtracking. Oh, I do remember a lot of backtracking in that game. A hellish weapon. Impulsive needs to play a certain game. Well, mine comes from music. Audio is a big way to get me to do something. I don't know why, but it is. Uh, 
Oh. Well, this one was easy. <laughs> this is really easy. Bet it hasn't been 10 minutes yet either. My warp is. Well, I can go back to the crystal. So, I'm thinking back to uh, getting these crystals. Imagine having to drag your entire guild to alliances worth. It actually was like an alliance and a half of people through all of these missions. I had to take them through every one of these areas to the cloisters. Uh, after I'd said I was only doing one run of it, that I wasn't going to have. So every, we got as many people as available. And I said anything past, like I would take everyone through the easy leg work one time. And I said, anybody that needed it passed in that you could help other people get through it. And we would go do the main ones that had fights, but any, this stuff right here, where it's like going to each zone and stuff, as they all had to do it on their own after that, that one weekend. And I did a raid group and a half of people to get sky clears. We did it over the course of uh, a weekend, I think. And it was just fucking insane. The next one's going to be in El Tepa. I, I kind of want to wait on the one in El Tepa. Although that'll get me the crystal. Oh, okay, there we go. So we need to go to Western El Tepa. Hmm. So we'll just get a Rubeo. Where's Rubeo? No. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. I know I have Rubeo. Travel to home points. Centoria. No. Where is There it is. Okay. All right. We're going to take a restroom break chat uh, and a coffee break. So we'll be back in a bit. Thanks for hanging out. Um, I'm going to play some ads too. So anybody that comes in doesn't have to, uh, doesn't have to like watch ads as soon as they come in. And so you don't have to watch them. You just mute it or some shit. Be right back.
looking at the screen and seeing how many Final Fantasy games there are. Uh, this is where I point out Cyanide that I don't have all of them on that list. <laughs> I actually took off Revenant Wings. Um, there is Final Fantasy Legends for Game Boy as well as uh, Final Fantasy Adventures on Game Boy that I also don't have on there. I also don't have uh, Crystal Chronicles which is a Final Fantasy uh, made for the GameCube and uh, or Nintendo. Uh, there's a lot of Final Fantasies I don't even have on this list. <laughs> so, like, yeah, Violet was very true when she told me this. She's like, well, you could just make it the uh, years of Final Fantasy and do uh, two years of it because so much is coming out next year. And I'm like, no, I'm going to be so done so done with playing these games after after i'm done with this you have no idea like i'm gonna need breaks uh i am pondering about continuing with 11 though i had said that i was this was gonna be my last stream of 11. i'm on vacation all week i may just play 11 all week and after my vacation start 12 i don't know uh so if you're enjoying watching final fantasy 11 we may continue playing some i know it's not a like super amazing viewer stream or anything but it's something i really 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 enjoy playing <laughs> all right we need to figure out to where i'm going and i also need to bring in some music since uh, no mounted music. On top of desert music. 11 is super comfy. Is that too loud, chat? It might be. I don't know. Anyway, we need to go to the quicksand caves, travel to western on top of desert, J9. All right, we can get to J9. I'm going to be really sad when the, if this game ever doesn't have servers. Oh, and we were talking about spending money on this game. I could technically start playing on a private server, but the private servers are old school. So there's, uh, we were talking to, uh, about somebody, uh, the other night, I think it was Friday night. Uh, they came in and asked me if I was on retail or not. And I said retail and they play on wings exile, which is a wings of the goddess where it stops, which is a level 75 cap. And they've got a, there's also apparently a treasures of Artagon, um, cap server. And there's lots of people that play on it. As much as I would love to do that, I don't have the time to do that kind of experience anymore. It would be fun. And if I didn't have a job and could know life, like if I didn't have a family and job and I had someone just supporting me, I would go no life that in a heartbeat. I can't do it anymore. And I know I can't do it anymore. So I'm not even going to attempt. Um, one of the reasons why I'm actually really enjoying retail is the solo ability of it. Just so I get to relive my nostalgia and get the bits and pieces I want out of it, you know, and not have to spend the next two months getting to level 20. That's an over exaggeration, but you get my point. Very much so. I, have, I mean, I have two kids and a girlfriend to take care of. I can't. And I also, I mean, I could, I could just make this the Final Fantasy 11 stream, like, and just do Final Fantasy 11. Like if that's what I wanted to do, that'd be different. And I would consider it, but I won't always want to stay in variety because I, man, I did DVD for what? Two and a half years of playing some other stuff on the side. And holy shit. I was about to go crazy playing the same game over and over. All right. We've made it to here. Uh, if you're 65, you can grab the 
found someone once inside to avoid aggro. I am 65. Oh, so I can go in here. Wait. Review active powers. Build support? Ooh, what does this do? Oh, sneaking in this. We're going to go, where are we going? I don't even know. Up and right. Okay. How you doing, Lee? I never asked you this. Do you want me to call you Lee or T Lee? Don't matter. Okay. What are those comfy emotes you got? About? When did you get Guru sub? And you got Lady Kiana's. Doing great. How about you? Doing pretty good. Really, really enjoying playing Final Fantasy XI. We finished Shadow Lord today. Um, realized that we can't beat Siren because we're too low level. Uh... <laughs> And started on Zillart missions. I need to go back to Bastok to turn in my main mission. Two. We got a lot going. We got a lot of sticks in the fire today. And I think I may have talked myself into playing Final Fantasy XI long past what I originally planned to do. Because I was just going to do Shadow Lord. And I may have now talked myself into... Um... Yeah, we need to drop here, I think. I may have now talked myself into um, playing this for the rest of the week at least. Because I'm like, I have no, I have nothing to worry about this week. I have my son's birthday on Wednesday night and he's going to be uh, having somebody sleep over. So, yeah. We can just do really long Final Fantasy 11 streams, valid permitting. <laughs> she, does, she doesn't have to give me permission. I just always don't want to feel like I'm neglecting her. Y'all ever feel like that? You're like ne neglecting your significant other when they have no problem doing what, what you're doing, but you just feel like you are neglecting them, even if you're not. Or is it just me? It might just be me. All right. Uh, I don't think it does. Anything, can I just mount here? Fuck yeah. You know what's cool about mounting? I don't have to worry about that girl. <laughs> All right. Uh, wait a minute. What was the point of this? Drop down. Oh. What? Why did I go through that cave? Because you... Did you not come down from that one spot I was just looking at? Need to go down. Oh my god. Stop closing the map, game.
So this is not right. We went the wrong one. You know how annoyed I used to be playing this game and realizing that or thinking, oh, why can't I just slide off of this? Like, you, you see how far of a drop that is? That's not that far. Let me fall. I've fallen from much further heights in this game. But like, no, nah, you got to go through all these caves and shit to get there. <laughs> it's frustrating. Uh, you can die and get tractored though. There, there's a uh, black mage spell called tractor that like pulls the dead body towards you so you can like res them in a safe location and people used to like tractor pass like long annoying runs so like one person would do the run that could do it safely and then everybody else would just go die right above this or per se and then just tractor them and re <laughs> res them down here All right, so we've now gotten the ice, the earth, and the, wait, ice, earth, and water. Now the fire fragment. Oh, dear God. Hold on. Um... Different cauldron. Oh dear. This is gonna be fun. I think I wanna to run to Bastok and finish uh, do turn in my quest. We're gonna take a break from this a little bit. We're gonna go turn in quest. Uh we need to go. I'll just haul mountain and bass stock mines again. Can y'all imagine playing this game without a literal walkthrough? <laughs> Alright, J7. I think it's upstairs. Wait, no. It's in the restricted area, right? I'm not exactly sure where this one is. Not there. On Or Street. I guess I do need to go down. There's Tall Mountain. What is this? You were told, Sir Iron Eater, to bring the uh, Altepa Moon Petal back. Oh, wait, wait. You were told by Sir Iron Eater to bring this moon, uh, Altepa Moon Petal back from Altepa Desert. Wait here. All right. What is the meaning of this Tall Mountain? Oh, just a personal request. I'd like to see the Altepa Moon Pebble that our tail, uh, tail keeper found when he was on his journey of rebirth. Moon Pebble is a thing of Altepian legend. It's not every day that one gets to lay their eyes on the Gonkin treasure. Ah, uh, <laughs> is that all? Well, normally we wouldn't show it to just anyone, but because you have assisted us so much, I guess we can make an exception. Is that what child Galkas look like? Yes. <laughs> I see. Then it was all just... What do you see? It was all just what? Just a hoax. That is what you meant to say. Is it not, Tall Mountain? Who are you? I guess I have much more uh, work to do to get the key... Uh, 
to get to ugh, much more work to do to get the keeper of the 200 years of memories to remember my name. What business does a mithril musketeer have here? How, and how dare you call the tellkeeper a fake? This adventure has succeeded in bringing back a real out of a moon pebble. And by the looks of it, even a gourd could tell that yours is not the true one. Not the true one. How do you know that uh, the adventurers is not a fake? Eh? How could a hume uh, tamed dog like you even tell the difference between a simple rock and an authentic cock and treasure? Are you finished? Hello there, tell keeper. Goomba? Yes. I think it's Gumba, but I call him Goomba. Who, who are you? I'm Goomba. I just came by to meet the new tell keeper. Wow, 200 years of gawking memories to carry around. Gee, that must be pretty tough. Um, yeah. I heard from my friend that Weary, uh, that the tail, uh, tail keepers, well, don't really get to see many birthdays. If you know what I mean. I don't know if Weary meant that the responsibilities of the title were the reason, or if it was just destiny. Now that I think about it, the former tail keeper, Rogrim, also disappeared on a mission to the Northlands. There's no way you would catch me uh, being a tailkeeper. I don't think I could handle it. What is he talking about, Ma uh, Mr. Gabbett? You never told me anything about any dangerous missions. You just said that if I st stuck with you, I could get some delicious grilled mutton. Shut out your mouth, you imbecile. <laughs> They're trying to trick you. I'm out of here. Hey, wait. I would advise a quick departure from this city, and if I or any of your, the guards ever catch you back here again, you won't have to worry about that. I just didn't think you would all fall for my story so easily. I don't think I made myself clear. Would you like my axe to clear things up for you? I get the picture. <laughs> I don't know. I thought he had potential. It is unusual for you to get so upset, Kumba. Upset? I wasn't upset. But when he said that he didn't need to search for Weary anymore... How dare he say such a thing about my friend, Goomba? No, it's not that they shrunk them all. They actually look more childlike than you ought to see the child childlike characters in this game. The child, uh, uh, Tartari look very weird. <laughs> they're just, they're, they're maybe like six inches shorter or maybe less than the the adult it's really weird and they have like bows in their hair so it's kind of like you know uh how world of warcraft did kids kind of like that um uh the npc is next to the best one home point three all right did that um next mission the pirates go um, this mission requires... Okay, so we gotta go get some more. We gotta get some more crystals. I may already have enough, but I'm gonna go get some just in case. Actually, do I have any on me? Oh, I do. We're good, then. Crystals, rabbit wolf. Oop. Don't take that. Take a poopy wind crystal. Alright, we're camp. Alright. Uh, then speak to any guard and select the mission from the list. Okay. Parts code. I assume an adventurer of your caliber is headed to Nord. Well, that place is a heaven for pirates. They even have ties with the Tenshudo. In any case, it's an area that cannot be um, or cannot be looked upon lightly. That is why we want you to travel there as an emissary and report to Sir Naji. Report to Sir Naji at the president's office for details. Okay. 
Getting everything kind of like going along with each other. Oh, we're supposed to go to North. I was supposed to go to. Fuck. I just wasted like 600 yo. I went to Norg before going to go talk to Nashi. Oops. was that hundred? Najee. Ah, oh, Bargard, it looks like you're ready for your next mission. I've heard that you're traveling to Nord this time. What I'm supposed to give you some de uh, give you the details? That's funny. I don't remember being assigned to this mission. It looks as the guard makes the two of us up, and if that can happen, I'm the uh, I'm the one who will be relaying the adventurer's orders. As if that could happen. Your mission to Norg is that of a uh, trade emissary. Norg is constantly uh, attempting to strengthen its ties with the adventurers. They often rely on them to do certain jobs involving trade. Compared to Winhurst and Sandoria, Bastok's re relations with Norg are much more deeper. That is why, after the sake of our Republic commerce, we are sending adventurers to such a remote location. I was to accompany you on this mission, but first I must uh, complete another small task. Travel to Norg and meet with our leader, Gilgamesh. He will give you the further information of what you need to do. I will rendezvous uh, with you in Norg when I have finished my current assignment. And that's the gist of it. Wait, before you go, would you come over here for a second? The reason I called you over here is that I want you to try and finish this mission ASAP, preferably before Ayami arrives. I know that this must sound strange, but you've got to help me out of here. Recently, Ayami has been acting well strange, and it's like she's miss, uh, missing that that something. The other day, she was uh, defeated by an enemy that, well, even you could take out. And now she's using that as an excuse to restart her samurai training. You can probably tell by looking at me. Uh, but the Mithril Musketeer don't spend much time out there on the front lines. That makes it hard for us to keep our battle skills brushed up. I think that's what's bothering Ayami. She wants to get back what she thinks she has lost. And now she wants to travel to Norg. That will just make things worse. As much as I want to be number four, I don't want it uh, because she leaves. That's why she's got to remain a Musketeer. You now, uh, or you know what you have to do. And keep quiet about this to Ayami. Okay. You want me to get there before Ayami, right? That's that's what you all heard, right? Well, is she is she this fast? We're in Nork. Do you think she beat us here? Gilgamesh, my bro. Arg. So you're the Latin loving adventurer that they sent from Bastok. I'm a busy man, so let's cut to the chit chat and get right down to business. 
Lately, you adventurers are making quite a killing on the items, weapons, and the like. We know that you were out there, but we didn't think that you'd be giving us so much competition. But rather than getting in each other's way, I thought that there might be a way that we could work together. What I want you to do is give, uh, is give me an idea of what the adventurers are capable of. There are a few items that uh, my, my mates can't acquire, and I want, to, I want you to go and get them. Travel to one of the uh, molten lava falls in Ifrit's Cauldron. If you throw a chunk of adamant ore, uh, a monster will appear. Bring back the uh, frag rock that the beast has on it. Do you think that you can handle it? Uh, the problem is handle adamant ore. And that puts us, we, we needed to go, I'm so glad I did this first, because that puts us going to Ifrit's Cauldron at the same time. So we can uh, do both at the same time. If I can get an adamant ore. If not, I have to take pickaxes and try to get adamant ore. Which oh, I'd have to look up. <laughs> so here's to hoping we can just buy one. right there still still afk i didn't know you could uh glamour stuff in this game Man, the ads are already back. How long does that last? It's got to be super short. Uh, what did I need? Or, um, I don't know what Adam. What does it say about it? Um, uh, Adamant drops six rare. You only need one, one Adamant ore, and one more can be bought from the auction house. All right. Let's see if we can get it mid. Nothing. Wait. Not too expensive either. Also wanted to see. Probably not. I bought the, the halberd because I couldn't get the other thing. It's a hunt smell. Um. Yeah. I'd love to get one. Surprised I don't see more of those on in a while. Too much for my nostalgia. can't sell this stuff here, so I'm just going to dump it and we'll sell it another time. Oh, yeah. 
I'm glad I thought of it. I need to I need to get some silent oil. Almost fucking forgot. There's not a ninja spell that's silence or one of the sound. What's the chance of being detected by sound? Uh, Sanjaku. Uh, one one stack. Ooh, nine K. All right, now we don't need sneak of Just got the, the just got the ninja tools. Uh, so what's the fastest way? We're going to Ifrit's Cauldron. Probably take a book to, yeah. Hmm. We got a lot to do in Ifrit's Cauldron. We're going to be in a literal volcano. So chat, how are you all doing? We need to take I five entrance. Things are five. That one. Okay. You know, I I do find it interesting that not a single person in this game though has tried to talk to me. <laughs> this game really doesn't feel like an MMO at all anymore. It reminds me of uh, if if any of you guys played uh, Star Wars MMO, uh, not Galaxy, uh, Kotor, not Kotor, whatever. You know what I mean? The that one. It was the. It was supposed to be an MMO, but it was a great single player game because each each class had its own like storyline. It kind of feels like that. stop and level at some point. If I can get 70, I can try to fight Matt and get my ass handed to me.
Alright, give me a book. I want a book. I know there's gonna be a book in here. I don't see a book in here. Alright. Oh no. We'll see where this part is. I need to go right until I get there. What level? I don't know what level anything's gonna be in here either. Should we just go up and around? Decent challenge, but doesn't aggro. Oh, who did I just... Oh, my Shantoto. I didn't mean to do that. That's not good. Three minutes on Shantoto now. Don't I need an ice crystal? Oh, wait a minute. doesn't I thought you need to like trade a cluster maybe I can go the other way uh -oh. <laughs> it doesn't mention it in the thing I forgot all about this but I think you need an ice cluster I think you trade like an ice cluster to the fire Yeah, if we can't get to that point that I need to get to. We might have to look into it. Because I don't want to buy an ice cluster if it's a water cluster or something. There's a pumper. Actually, it might just be right here. It is right here. Okay. Shantoto's got like 49 seconds. Yeah. Uh, not sure. Oh, we, I do need to bring three ice clusters to go, uh, for fuck yet. That's unfortunate because we might actually have to go farm that. Damn it. Um.
That'll matter. Is somebody just here or something? Lion, you stole my... Mm. Okay. Well, Lion just stole my... Skill turn. Do not know where this salamander came from. Is this supposed to pop with it? Oh, it is. Okay. That was very random. Okay. Well, we're going to go back. I was hoping to do two birds with one stone, but I didn't be as special. I need three. And if I don't even, am I gonna have to get a fay in to get ice clusters? There's like no fucking economy in this game, by the way. Like none. It it seems like there's a few people that put up quest items. But other than that, there's not much of an economy at all. Nice clusters. All right. I need three. I'm going to have to buy a 12 pack. Jesus. <laughs> well, there it rip uh, my money. I don't have much money in this game. I even leveled a bunch of shit off stream just trying to get sparks so I would have money. I need someone to get on Sylph server and come hand me a couple million. I know you guys can spare it. I need some money. We're just a, a broke Taru uh, Taru trying to make our way in the world. I have a heart. Yoga match, my bruh. You got your your Fraggle Rock. Anybody ever watch Fraggle Rock? Ha! <laughs> Me land love and adventure brought back a Frag Rock. It looks like it need I need to find myself some new mateys. <laughs> I guess this means you've uh, completed your mission. Now let me write you something that you can take back to. It won't be necessary, sir. Arg, wave well, it isn't, uh, ain't little Ayami. You get prettier every time I see you. Gilgamesh, it was fine uh, when you called me that when I was a child, but I'm 20 years old now. So what brings you to these parts? 
come to check up on your adventure this is one of the reasons we uh wouldn't want you snatching up one of bastok's best if i wanted to snatch up bastok's best i'd be snatching up the fine samurai standing in front of me how about it hey honey leave uh, the boring job of yours and join us we'd love to have you you have the chance it's, uh to wield your blade whenever you please now when the president says you can arg what do you say while i am flattered by your offer i am satisfied with uh and hold pride in my current post i realize that i still have much to learn but at the same time i feel that i must travel the roads i see fit to travel swords and mu uh, muskets are not made to be drawn that is uh what my parents taught me and those are the words i wish to live by ayami right I, 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 I. <laughs> what did actually I, I, I. <laughs> I have brought with me the document uh, from the president himself. To, uh, it converts the treatment of Bastokian adventures as well as overseas trade guild logs. You may want to read over the details at a later time. Uh, you need not give me an answer now. However, I trust that Norg will take steps in the right direction. Or you don't leave me much uh, room for a choice, do you? I'll take that as a compliment. I learned everything I needed to know from the years I spent here in training. Okay, okay. You go back and tell your old president I said hello. Oh, and don't you forget to talk to Rayoma before you leave. It's the least you can do for him. I'm sorry, but that will have to wait for another day. However, maybe next time I will bring along my younger sister. Your uh, climate in New York is complete. You may return to Bastok now and do not forget to report to Najee upon your arrival. Hey, Yami should just quit being Bastok and come live in New York. I'm just saying I would. Who would you rather hang out with? Ninjas, samurais, corsairs, and pirates, or polit politicians? What would y'all want? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, my HP is currently one, 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 one more. I don't think I'm gonna have to go back to uh, what's my deal? So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, 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 which one? I zoned out and only heard pirates from the list. So pirates. Uh, so what would you rather hang out with? And do take in mind that like, it's not what we would perceive, but think of like the game here. So Norg is a hideaway of sorts of samurai and ninja corsairs and pirates, right? They're all kind of like friends in a, uh, you know, it's, all that camarader camaraderie and whatnot. Or would you like to hang out with blacksmiths, racist humes, and politicians? Racist being as the humes are very racist towards the Galka. There's a whole story about that there. What would you rather do? Play a game of would you rather? I'd go live in Norg in a heartbeat. What I would really love to be is Tasmanian safe hold, but there, I don't feel like there's any way that I would be able to get to Tasmanian safe hold before the uh, end of this weekend. I would have to go hard on COP. I'm kind of curious to what I could even get done solo in COP. Whatever, we're gonna we're gonna play it out. Um. Unless I change my mind, I'm currently thinking of continuing this. No one has objected so far. And I do have a lot of extra time this week. So, yeah. Where did it actually want me to enter here? I need to check before we go any further. Uh, Headstone pilgrimage. We want to zone in. 
That's what I wish. Corner from the west. Y'all, look, I'm going to show you guys something. This is the guide of how I'm supposed to get through this place. I need to start here. And I think I'm at the wrong jungle. Yeah, because it's YH. So I need to take this from the Kazan. No, this is right. But this is the wrong entrance. I need to go to the other entrance. Yeah, this is the wrong entrance. No, don't. Oh, fuck. Well, I'm going to wait a minute now. I hit the button twice. I didn't think it registered. I don't want you to fucking aggro on me, dude. Time I summoned everything. Okay. So we need to go to the other entrance. We should just follow the right wall, I think. This is looking right. And take a right. Maybe I was supposed to go that way. Yes, I was. I was supposed to go under. Ugh. So quiet with no music. Well, at least we don't have to listen to that dreadful mount music.
No, I guess that was dead wrong. For some reason, I thought you had to go up or back around. Not go underneath. Oh, well. We made it one way or the other. I have this map in the way of chat. Okay. Is there a book here? There we go. I was like, please not have books at all. Yay. Okay. We got a book. Um, summon. Now, I remember there being. Oh, we have bomb queens in here. You can get a bomb queen ring. I remember needing that for uh, Dark Knight. Um, blood weapon. Because it was. You got HP. You got more HP back based on how much HP you had. So you were trying to get as high as your HP could get. Decent challenge stuff. I don't know. Is it sneak invis here? Yeah, it is sneak and invis. So, Ponko and I need to write this down. Ponko, Ichi, and Mono, me, Ichi. Macro, Sam. I got alt five slash ma Go chat. Yeah, can't believe I used to have all this fucking shit memorized. <laughs> dudes you can kill those for eyes for soup you get an o-hat you know a stick left look a volcano doesn't that look does that look kind of green deal lava oh look there you swell Do I have to go my two like NMs that have draw in? Oh my god, doesn't it? I think it does.
Another book. All right. Our first ice cluster is going to get used up here. I think another NM spawns up here. I don't want, know which one it is, but I'm pretty sure that one does. What level is this shit? DC? Not bad. Alright, first wall. Ooh. It's down. Not following somebody? Yo. Make my 60k back. Oh, this is actually pretty easy. It's just kind of like hug left. Hug left, don't accidentally fall. I remember summoners leveling up on bombs and stuff because they self-destruct, which would kill your uh, summon. Which you could just resummon, but gave you the XP. That, which is again, hug the left wall. Oh, this is a lot easier than I thought. So just hug the left wall and hug the left wall. Getting around the Ash Dragons, though, that's. And whatever I'm afraid of, because my dumbass, again, did not pick up a re raise item. Because I keep forgetting. Walking over lava, it's fun. Okay. Hurricane Wyvern. Mighty sneaking invis still up. Okay. Where is this ash dragon? Is it not up? Oh, get up! Why the hell? Well, I mean, it is an NM, but I don't know who would be up here just killing the Ash Dragon. I don't remember what it drops, but. And this lava spouts down too. No way. It is up. So. Shit, sneaks wearing off. No, that sucks. 
All right. Uh, I don't know what's going to aggro sneak. We might actually be through. Because this exit's out in the jungle. Go to the cloister of flame. Oh well, that doesn't matter. All right, that actually worked out really well. However, I only need to buy one ice cluster, not 12. They said I needed three. have a teleportation book right there. I'm just saying. Also, I have to be very careful not fall in holes. We're all also have to do that walk again. Right, where are we going? L7. No, maybe there's not any drop downs. King Simon. Okay. No. Oh, which side is on? does not look right. Oh, it might. It might. Hold on. No. I just made a circle around. We needed to go to the back one. There's that one and then the next one. So not this one. This one. Ugh. Too bad too, like this would be a not not a bad place to like XP. Whatever level it would be, but the problem is getting here would be a fucking nightmare. What's up, Mixio? There we go. Um, I do. I think something's gonna spawn on this one. Um, uh, yeah. Dude, uh, we do have spawns on this one. The Opa Opo's attack. Run for your lives. You aggro the goblins. How dare you?
I'm paladin friends over here hitting everything. Skill up, man. Closer. Hmm. E fragment, okay. We got the fire fragment. Now on to the wind fragment and keep tearing all oh, story. I'm gonna go through the tunnel. This one should be easy too. thought this would take a lot longer which of the ff gains is my favorite um i generally don't count the um i generally don't count uh mmos as my favorite final fantasy if i had to choose though it would be like if i had to add final fantasy or mmos into it final fantasy 11 and Final Fantasy 6 would probably be tied. But if I just do console games, it would be Final Fantasy 4 and 6. And that's because Final Fantasy 4 was my first Final Fantasy ever played. But I acknowledge that Final Fantasy 6 is a better game. That makes sense. After... Playing through the Pixel Remaster, I'll say that I really like 1 through 6. All really, like, pretty good. Uh, Final Fantasy 1 is probably the weakest, and Final Fantasy 2 second weakest. But other than that, I said the rest of them are really good. I had a lot of a lot of fun playing 4, 5, and 6. Um, or 3, 4, 5, and 6. Uh, Final Fantasy 7, of course, this is great. Love it. Uh, Final Fantasy 8, I still love that game, even though the story gets pretty terrible uh, towards the end. And then Final Fantasy IX is a very, very favorite game of mine because it's it's literally a swan song of all the games that came before it. I d strongly dislike X. I absolutely hate X2. Uh, love Final Fantasy XI. Tons of fucking memories. It's just you know, I will never lose them. A lot of friends and whatnot. Six was your first. You didn't really play it because your cousin had it. I will say, though, like if... Me and Violet were talking about this. Uh, of all the games that I've done through this playthrough, she's like, Chrono Trigger was her favorite. And I kind of agree with her. I think Chrono Trigger is probably better than all of the Final Fantasy games. It is probably one of the best, if not the best, old school JRPG. And if you are ever looking for a JRPG to play, and you can only pick one, I would say Corona Trigger would be a better game.
And if you ever get your hands on the DS version of it, that's the best version. However, a lot of people shit talk the Steam version. And I don't know if they fixed it or what. The Steam version was fine. I didn't have any real issues with it. So I was under the impression that I was going to hate the Steam version, but it really was perfectly fine in my eyes. There's an outpost up here we're going to grab. Uh, where is the one camp here? Uh, well, a lot of these could be got at the cloister, but I don't have summoner. <laughs> Actually, we can, I could level up here. Might. I might go ahead and get 70 while I'm out here. Let's see. No. 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 Yes. Okay. Yeah. I think I think we're gonna level while we're here because this is actually a really good leveling spot, and I need to get to seventy. We're not far off. There's a crystal tail point up there. Mm -hmm. Asana, what's your favorite? Have a trace. Be an area that has both Architrice and Manticores, or like a half and half. It is not this way, that is the drop down. That area over there leads to Adam and Toys. Into the HM. down here what the thing our semantic bars over here I don't remember is it drop down we're not doing that maybe the mantic are over here I well, never ended up getting that into the Final Fantasy series on a whole, but I did like 10 uh, part two because I found the mechanics fun. Besides that, whichever one had Vaughn and Balth uh, Balthazar, uh, you're thinking of Final Fantasy 12, which is the next game that I'm going to be doing after this one. I didn't see a single Manticore. Manticore. Never. Whatever. We're going to go get the thing and then we'll come down here and fight Cockatrice, I guess. And maybe the... Oh god, I wonder if it's the situation where the cockatrice and the manticore share spawns and it just so happens that there are all cockatrices at the moment. I'll have to look that up.
Uh, seven was a first for a lot of people and it revolutionized, uh, uh games at the time because you, you're coming off of the SNES title and it was the first like real good 3D. Well, not first, but you know what I mean? It was the first real recognized 3D, um, JRPG. And here's the Manticore, so. We have found them. It's all around where I need to be anyway. Nice. Means I can get the tell point here. Oh god, this is gonna be a great place. I'm looking forward to this. Lots of mobs. With the tell point right here. I like it. All right, where is the thing though? Ah. On the other side. I am going to go ahead and get the uh, fragment. It's over here. Really cool thing about this game too, is you had a lot of maps that go off the map. You know what I mean? You know, like we're off in the, a hidden part of the, the map now. Where the fuck it am I? There it is. Um, hmm, my summons. I might need to reset them. Your best are nine and uh, seven. Yeah. I think if you took a poll, I think the seven would probably be the highest rated. So we cut him. I can see that. I like the first one. I didn't care for the second one as much. All right. I don't know where my dudes are. I think I outran them. Which really sucks because I can't even unsummon them from this far away. What? Might, I'm gonna have to just log out and log back in. No other thing I could have done was go to the cloister and zone, but I think this might actually be faster. We got too far away. I never played 11 or 14 because you were playing well. 11 came out a year before 14 did, or uh, sorry, a year before World of Warcraft did. What is my... You think? What do we got? Oh, it seals. I feel like you're going to interrupt me.
So did you stay, Mixia, did you stay in WoW from uh, launch on up or did you take long breaks from it? I think uh, my longest subscriptions in WoW were Mr. Pandaria, which I stayed sub for the entirety of it. And I stayed sub for the majority of uh, Rise of the Lich King and the base game. Um, I went back a lot to Final Fantasy. Um, shit, my brain just stopped. I went back to Final Fantasy 11 a lot when I played uh, Burning Crusade and Cataclysm. I barely played at all. I hated Cataclysm. I did the launch of Cataclysm and that was a, that was kind of about it. Came back at the very end of it and tried out Raid Foundry. I don't like how World of Warcraft structured in Final Fantasy 14. You can go back and do the old raids because of how um, the roulettes work. But I don't know if, unless something's changed. Last time I played World of Warcraft, you couldn't go back through an old raid unless you got all the people to go do it. How did you quit last December? All right, the last one we got is that, um, Behemoth the main? That's not the light, the last, but the next one's in Behemoth, which is in Quiffum. We're going to get to 70 while we're here. Oh, yeah. That's a good camp. Right, uh, yesterday you downloaded, uh, 14. Are you going to play on the free trial? Never really gotten into MMOs. I think the closest is Warframe. Yeah, I can, I can see people making the uh, argument that Warframe is. Uh, Warframe is more like Destiny, though. Like it's... Hmm, I don't really know how to quantify it. What level are these? Incredibly tough. They might kick my ass. Go ball. I'm gonna go. All right. Need some really need to get some deck or some accuracy food. I couldn't get into Warframe. I tried. I just didn't get into it. Just don't know if you will find yourself. What do you mean? How much XP do we get there? Almost 3k. Can you aggro me? Thank you. Come over here, please.
I don't actually play Warframe a lot, but I love the movement when I do. I had a, a friend of mine that played a lot of Warframe. I had, they tried to talk me into playing multiple times. I was just not going to get into it. I also can't get into Destiny. Uh, Destiny 2 came out and I played through the story like twice. Cause I, I got it originally on console and then later got it on uh, PC. So, I, I mean, I played through it twice. I even leveled like three characters. But after I got to the end, I was just bored. Like, like okay, story's done. I'm bored. I, mean, I, I didn't get into PvP, so that didn't help. Dude, 3k XP. Fucking kidding me. I love how I have to body pull. Are a bit too fast. Just a dead or I may have missed one. You know how you get into the game that has been around for many years and there's a lot of things to do? As a new player, uh, you don't want, uh, know what to do. Just follow the main story. Uh, Final Fantasy 14 is very good of just having kind of a linear path. I will say you're going to outlevel the content pretty easily because of all the XP boosts and stuff. So I would recommend leveling multiple jobs in, uh, in parallel while you're doing the main story, but just follow the main story. Um, main story, blue quest for unlocks. You can really just deal with that later and just feign that, uh, follow the main story. There's an actual icon for main story quests and everything that so you can literally just do that and get caught up. That's how pretty much everybody does. So it's a lot harder to get lost in it like you would in another uh, MMO. If we summon that. So she has MP. What level is that body? Six to nine. I have no earrings. I am wearing like garbage gear. Feels bad. Chest is it blue chest? Yeah. Uh, is it healing juice and what else was it? Oh, it's a TP um wing. Koki does. That's probably a waste. Whatever. I 
Now we need some cockatrice. There's a Vantipore out here in him that drops a great sword. Thinking that there is one. I don't remember what it was called though. It's the weirdest design of a Cockatrice I've seen in a while. I think it's actually designed uh, based off of a the Final Fantasy VI design. Made it more of a dinosaur or something like that. I forget what it was. like a, a chicken dinosaur this is more on the dinosaur range Rooster lizard, yeah. What else? A turkey? Chicken? That was way louder. I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. Oopsie. This shouldn't take too long to get to 70. Oh, you know what I should do though? I uh, should get the region anyway. Not time to resummon Kupupi. Pee pee, Kupupi. Find some more cockatrice. I think there was two more over here.
I need to figure out what the skilling is. So, F F F sign. Skill up. Um. So at 69, this would be 246. So I'm I'm way lower than I need to be. Was accidental. This might be bad. Ooh, we got three of them. This is really bad. He's about out of stuff too. Uh -oh. Looking bad. Oh, dude, kill this last one. bound Are you effing kidding me wait did he oh dear you re -aggroed. are you fucking kidding me because i'm bound really i'm bound <laughs> Screw you too. <laughs> I'm bound so I couldn't turn around or anything. What level did that put me at? 69. And that's for War Beast anyway. I bought a body that I can't even go. I'm still bound. <laughs> I didn't even realize I bought a body that's for Warrior and Beastmaster. Not Samurai, god damn it. Bought the wrong effing thing. One day I'll catch him. 
one day. Like midnight there. Right, let's sell, resell the body that I bought. I'm dumb. You know, it might be a time just to check the NPC. Uh, it's probably all crap. It sucks, like, not being able to get gear. I don't even know what that is. No, I need one more level. Right, let's go finish up this shit. What's up, Roy? How are you doing? that the last one in the sanctuary of Zion. So what's next on the list? Final Fantasy 12. Considering the Warriors won their seventh NBA Finals, pretty damn good lately. Uh, I know nothing about the sports ball. But congrats. Uh, which one is that? Final Fantasy Twelve is the one with Balthier and uh, Fran, the bunny girl. I don't have, I have the strategy guide in the other room. I wonder if I should pop out that strategy guide for when we do it actually be cool i need to remember that we also need to get vibe god that's something we have to work on we need to put together the uh, voting list for final fantasy 14 so uh chat can pick my race uh fran is a bunny like the hot sexy bunny girl Fran and Balthier. Vaughn. There's like the cast of characters. Uh, no, not Titus. Titus is uh, Final Fantasy X. There's, it's Vaughn. Balthazar is the best. Also really good uh, in the fact that Remake Part 2 has got revealed and has released window as well as a fucking Crisis Core. Dude, yeah, the Crisis Core thing I was actually blown away about. And uh, we are now going to be moving Crisis Core to next year and not doing it in this uh, year of Final Fantasy. Because there's no point in me playing the, a uh, 
emulated PSP version of it because I'd have to figure out a way to get my PSP to like capture and all that stuff when it's going to release like two months later. So we're taking crisis core off the list and we'll put it on. We'll be playing it next year. I am still going to uh, try to remember to ep uh, put it, make it an episode though, and put it up on my YouTube, like with the rest of the year, final fantasy stuff. And also final fantasy 16 comes out next year. And so final, they've got, um, the so crisis score remaster comes out next year. Final fantasy 16 comes out next year and final fantasy seven, uh, remake two comes out next year. Fucking crazy. Uh, I like Final Fantasy 12. Uh, Final Fantasy 12's world is really, really good and has a lot of really good music. Uh, a lot of people absolutely hate Vaughn and Pinello, which, I mean, I can understand, but uh, the game is still amazingly good. So. Uh, it's uh, 2023. Winter, so winter is uh, the beginning of December or end of December. So it'll probably be January or February. It's Q1 of 2023. If it comes out uh, this year, we'll play it. But I mean, I'm going to play it when it comes out. It's just from what I've been told, it's going to be Q1 of 2023. And I'm just going off of that information. Because I mean, when is like the official start date of winter? It's like December... 15th or something like that. There's not much of a release window. Yeah, I didn't dislike any of the characters. Uh, they just didn't really stand. Yeah. So Vaughn and Pinello, while slightly annoying, I think it's they're annoying because they're kid characters. You know what I mean? They, they're just kid characters. I really wish that they would have just removed those two and told the story through Balthier and Fran. I think it would have been a neater story to do it that way. And then you come in with how they come in and start the game that way instead of Fran and, and or instead of uh, Pinello and Vaughn. I feel like they were kind of pointless characters that didn't need, didn't need to be there. Why bind? Can... Mm, I hate bind so much. Just hype that we get FF7, CC, and Final Fantasy 16, and Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth in a span of a year. Yeah, dude, Square's like pounding it out. And for me, they also did Endwalker. So we got. So hear me out. Endwalker came out the end of last year. They finished Crystal, Crystal Chronicles uh, the beginning of this year. And then we have Final Fantasy 7 Remake gonna now be on. Um, Steam, which I'm super stoked about because I didn't want to buy it on Epic. Crisis Core announcement, Final Fantasy 16, and then Final Fantasy 7R, which I'll have to get on Epic more than likely. But Square's just like, pull, it's like pulling their balls out and slapping it on the table and be like, look at these. <laughs> just, just look at these. <laughs> Need to start playing 14 like yesterday. Oh, there's a trial.
Yeah, but the bad thing is, I, I want y'all to think about this. Since all of this is coming out, we probably won't have like actual Final Fantasy news outside of Final Fantasy 14 for a while. So do think about unless we got some remakes in the works, which is possible. Final Fantasy 9 remake could be in the works because there's been a lot of talk about that or a re like a real remaster of it. All right, we got the lightning fragment next. Light fragment. The sanctuary of Zyta. Y'all want to see if let's see if KB's up or Behemoth or KB's up. I mean, I doubt it. We can go up. I'm surprised that they're, I mean, I don't know if they're doing this to make their stock go up really high for something, but man, I don't know what's going to keep their stock high if all their games come out at the same time. Oh, it's like somebody does behemoth. He is not here. Actually, I don't know. He might be popping him now. They, they changed a lot of this stuff. I do. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is if you know how Square works, uh, Square has been trying to sell, or didn't they sell off uh, their American stuff? So what games do they have coming out now? Unless they've got a new Dragon Quest that they're going to be announcing in the off time or something like that. Mm, Sorry, it was nice. Uh, no, that is not. Oh, it is. Next year is going to be a crazy year. I'm probably going to end up spending way too much money on video games next year. Do you know how much shit is coming out next year? Not to mention the games that I'm not going to get to pick up this year that I need to get. Holy shit. Like, I'm going to go broke. I'm going to need to find me like a sugar person to give me, <laughs> to give me games. So if anybody would like to contribute to the Borrow Needs Video Games Fund, I will take them. <laughs> uh, I want to do Quarry. I want to do Scorn. I would love to see a remaster of 11, but I just don't know how they would make it uh, work nowadays. I don't see people wanting to play it as it is. The systems are way too outdated. Ooh, no. 11's actually done a good job of uh, bringing the systems into a place where it is playable. I, I kind of disagree with this, David. However, there was going to be a uh, mobile version that was a single player version of this game. It got scrapped, and I don't know why. Um... I don't think they will remaster 11. I wish though that they would tie it into a subscription to 14. So like if you have 14, you could pay an extra couple of dollars and you could play this and then tie it into the same launcher. I don't think they'll do that either, but one can hope. I think if you just tied it to 14 and that made it so you could sub for a couple of dollars more, and play it through the 14 launcher would be enough to revitalize 11. It's the story is still ridiculously good. You can play the entire game solo. There's, there's just a lot you can do with it. Yeah. If they do a combo sub, I'd be, I'd be doing it in Harvey. I'd be playing Final Fantasy 11 all the time. 
That that's really the only thing that would hurt uh, hold me back. Um, when I was watching not E3, it was just oh the Games Fest. I was just after a game set to release next year, and it almost made me dizzy. Right? We have been in like not a game drought because we have had games, but due to COVID, like we we went through a like a dry spell because of COVID. And a lot of games just kept getting pushed back or it came out unfinished looking at you cyberpunk and like now all that stuff's finally catching up that was one thing i used to make comments about uh xbox when xbox finally gets these games from all these developments out and development studios out they're going to be literally like swinging their dick around smacking everybody over because there's they're going to be the ones shooting all the games out and here here you're seeing it And Game Pass is looking better than ever. This past Game Fest, if it like didn't talk somebody into uh, purchasing Game Pass, I don't know what would. Game Pass is going to save me so much money coming up. <laughs> I'm super stoked about it. I think I'm actually going to clear this stuff. Did everybody make it? Yeah, everybody made this now. Okay. What level are you your Oh, let's just kill you. PlayStation Xbox coming to blows once again. I don't know that it's to blows either. Uh, I mean, PlayStation's got some heavy hitters, but at the end of the day, they it's not that many. You know? Think about it. And you still can't get your hand, uh, hands on a PS5. At least with uh, Game Pass, they have a PC. You know, it's like even Sony's version of Game Pass doesn't allow you to play on PC. Xbox does. Cause I have I have a uh, Ultimate. Fantastic. I know it wasn't the full name, but I glanced over and just read the monsters' names. Lesser Gay. And had a moment. Oh, Galas? The the bats? <laughs> yeah, it's flash. Can you ever get your hands on the eggs? Yes, you can get your hands not on the uh well, the lunchbox is a higher to get, but the Series S you can get your hands on. There's, I went to my Walmart today. There's like five sitting in the bottom drawer. That's the uh, new Xbox without the disc tray. Not quite as graphically as enhanced, but you can play the uh, newer Xbox. The One X is still hard to get, uh, but you can find it. The PlayStation 5, I've yet to see one. And again, that's not entirely their fault, but it is their fault. <laughs> Darkness on a dark and a dark month. There's no way that was 10 minutes. Yeah. Like eight minutes. Please mount. Please mount. Got off the page somehow. Ugh. Yeah, at the Walmart I work at, we've never sold PS5s in person. I don't think mine has either. We'd have one in store and it was for online order. I'm lucky that I don't play console games, but I really need to, my stepdad that I live with uh, always buys the newest ones anyways. <laughs> 
I mean, don't I would like to have a PS5, but right now the only reason that I want a PS5 is for uh Demon Souls. Because God of War is gonna be on PC and Horizon's gonna be on PC. And other than that, I can't think of anything that I give a shit about. I'm not a fan of Spider like I don't care about Spider Man. I don't care about any other thing that they have on that console. So the only exclusive that PS5 actually has that stays exclusive will be Demon's Souls. You see my dilemma? Like, why do I need to go out of my way and search for that console to play one game? Don't get me wrong. Demon's Souls is great. And I'm a Souls fanatic. But God of War is going to be on PC. You see? Uh, that one is. I'm talking about the new God of War, Ragnarok. Ragnarok will be on PC within a year. Whoops. <clears throat> Let's see. After we get all these fragments, then what? You now have all for eight fragments. Okay. I'm stuck. All right. You haven't really gotten excited by any AAA games in a while. Any games are rarely exclusive. Hmm. I mean, I still get excited about AAA games, but they all come to PC, and I'm a PC kid. So. I, I haven't. My we turn on our PS. My I, my PS five or four gets turned on to watch YouTube, and my son occasionally plays Last of Us, which that just got announced, reannounced, which is hilarious. All right, uh, we need to go. Hmm. I don't know what home point I have. We're going to check. I'm so glad Spider-Man is coming to PC though. I've been wanting, waiting or wanting my friends to play it for ages. I just, I don't care about Spider-Man. What did you think of God of War though? God, it was I loved it. This is one of one of my favorite games that came out on PS4. All right, I want to see if I have like it says if I have home point one. I don't think I do. Home point one in quicksand caves. We gotta go the long way. <clears throat> I want to hear you talk about music. There are very few games I believe are worth the 1010. 
Mm, no game's really worth the 10 10. Oh, dude, mount muzzle even muzzles this. Oh, well, I just wasted 119 now. Um, we got a long ways to go. I'm waiting uh, for my new credit card to come in so I can get Final Fantasy VII Remake since it's on sale. Yeah, I'm so happy about that. I was afraid it was going to be cr like Christmas time before that thing um, was actually going to be released. Anyhow. Oh, uh, let's see. I got to play Cyberpunk next year because I still haven't got around to playing Cyberpunk. Um, I think the Stalker 2 comes out next year, I believe. Oh, yeah, I forgot Fatal Frames in here, too. I don't have a whole hell of a lot on my wish list. I need to go through put DVDs stuff in my wish list, too. Hey, Roy, how's uh, Seven been? Seven uh, comments and stuff on Discord, but I, don't, I haven't seen him in the stream in a while. It's funny that like, when I looked this up, it was like, if you're going the long way, it's a real long way. Which is hilarious because I actually went an even longer way because if I had gone to the western entrance, I could have started the eastern out of the entrance. I could have gotten here a little faster. But it doesn't matter. So we need to go. Busy with live stuff? I got you. I know what that's like. I'm trying to take some R and R this week. I'm gonna hang out with the kids during the day, stream at night. You know, like um, for stream day, me and the kids played uh, Mario. Um, then I gave my son one of his birthday presents early because he got Breath of the he's been wanting Breath of the Wild for the Switch. And our Wii U's messed up, so he hasn't been able to play uh, Breath of the Wild. Well, the tablet's messed up. Um. So I got him Breath of the Wild and he started playing that. We're going to watch him play some of that tomorrow. You saw him tonight for Father's Day? Awesome. Well, tell him uh, if you run into him or hear from him again, tell him I hope he's doing well. We didn't do much for Father's Day today. It was more of a very chill thing. Like we were planning on going to the beach uh, this week, but a lot of expenses came up. And we had that trip to Alabama this week. So it was going to be like a lot of, lot of stuff all at one time. <laughs> Excuse me. It was going to be a lot of stuff at one time. So we, we thought it was better not to go. My aunt has a beach house and we were going to get to stay for free, but like eating out every night and driving down there and all that stuff. So I was just like, you know what? Let's just chill at the house. Save some money. And also like my aunt's, my aunt has a beach house, but it's not like on the beach. It's like 10 minutes from the beach. There's like a walk path to get there and everything, but it's still like not beachfront. So you would have to get up and walk away. And I'm kind of like, I don't want to do shit. Uh, wait. Here we go. You can't get down here. Where is the damn ramp? Wait, what? Fuck. Is 
the entrance it says the entrance is here. Oh, there's a small area in the map into a tunnel. It's down here. Came pretty late for me, so you're gonna head to bed. Have a good one, son. I sign out. It was great having you here. Appreciate it. Good seeing you. This ramps around up top, doesn't it? Right. Or is it? Actually, it might be. This is right. Ooh, I forgot about this. Like, please don't tell me I can't go up those steps. <clears throat> Wait, oh, oh, it's not like the uh, whistle mounts, you actually have to get off. <clears throat> the whistle mounts, you can zone and just put you in there anyway. Need to sneak to avoid aggro from the uh, contenders in the cave. Okay. And again, I didn't bring a freaking re-race. I need somebody to tell me when I'm back in Nord, go get a race, go get a re-race. Anytime I'm like in a town, I'm gonna go get re-race. I keep forgetting. white bounding okay everything should be like easy prey but Item, so I should just be able to open the door or not. Oh, I just have to wait on it. I have the lodestone. My butt can open these doors. All right. In the air. Go this way. Oh, I didn't just release somebody. DCs. Your temp. Oh. Hello, Mr. Lizard. The spelunking sabotender. <laughs> kind of funny. Hmm. 
Hey. I'm glad I got that load stone. Like, that's another thing that I worked on yesterday. Uh, and I need this Chamber of Oracles BC in uh, so I can do uh, my level 70 limit break. So this is all kind of working out. I got the load stone yesterday for the level 70 cat thing, not necessarily for this. So I had it. It was a pain in the butt because I misread something. But yeah. All right, chant. Again, we want to kill the black mage first. This fight is very easy at level 85 with trust. We are not 85. We are 69. So this ought to be fun. 85. Why would you be doing this at level 85? mentioned seven he just texted me saying he got a chapter four in remake nice well tell him i said hello and i missed all right we got you we need to fight the one with the t good good black mage dead ranger and hope we don't get eagle eye shotted Take that blink just in case. Here it is. Oh, eagle on shot. Not so bad. We're good. 85. Why would they even put that on the guy? This fight is not that hard at 85 with trust. I'm 69. Finish this bitch off. Dude. There. I'm trying to get your dudes to use their damn weapon skills. Actually, killing my tank. Tank mate die. Good thing you're hitting the healer. Yeah, I got, I got shadows. Ooh. 
Ooh, I did the wrong button. Get invincible for a little bit. Oh, that, that was magic burst hit him though. We got close to having a hard time. They wouldn't, if they would have freaking weapon skilled the damn, uh, if they had weapon skilled the, the freaking ranger, this wouldn't have been a problem. <laughs> Done. All right. Upon defeating the three, do not leave this room before you've completed ZM uh, seven task. Only way to reach this room is to fight the three. Okay. Uh. Why are they spinning around me? Do not leave this room. I'm gonna put the things in. You place the fire fragment. Can't move. There we go. So, that is how it works. As if this place has been waiting for your arrival. Hmm, what is this? We are the Dawn Maiden, servants of the goddess Altana. Let us be your guide as you venture into the unknown. We have long awaited your arrival, son of the fire, uh, five crystals. Just as the crystal warriors, you people too were born of the great force that dwells deep beneath the surface in Vanadel. Vanadil. Hmm. What does that mean? Who are the crystal warriors? Using the power of the crystals, the Zillart created the five warriors. The children of the crystals, their senses enhanced to assist them in the duty guarding the five, uh, the five arcs. As for you, however, the effect the crystal had on you was not nearly as great as that of the, if you had on the five warriors. So the reason that they resemble us is a direct result of the five, five crystals. What did you people try doing 10,000 years ago? And what does that have to do with uh, what the arch dude and his brother are up to now? While visiting Decklefence Tower, the elder of the one of the elder of the two Zillart princes made a connection with the crystal. It was then that he had his vision. Using his spiritual power, the prince became an antenna and broadcasted this vision, a vision of the gods and eternal paradise to the masses. 
According to this vision, people have uh, been cast from the paradise long ago. However, those who saw the vision also heard an accompanied voice, a voice telling them that the light of the crystal would yield, uh, lead back, or lead them back to paradise. When the energy of the five crystals were joined as one, the gate of the gods uh, would open and the path to paradise would once again be lit. These words, though, were not taken lightly at all. The Kalu of the Northlands and we, the Dawn Maiden, spoke out against that or against the vision. What would uh, opening the gate of the gods bring upon this planet? With Vanadil transformed, what would become of those who remained? However, the Zillard were already enhanced by the vision or en enchanted by the vision of paradise and our uh, cries were unnoticed. They proceeded to construct a floating island above one of their temples in the center of their nation. This island was to become the gate of the gods. However, as you have already learned that Gra uh, Grav the Kalu uh, thwarted the Zillard's plan, leading to the annihilation of a complete civilization. Literally caused genocide. The Kalu cannot be blamed for what they did. Had they not acted, Vanadil as we know, uh, know it would surely have perished. They sacrificed the honor of their people to save the world from certain destruction. However, now that two Zillart princes have put their plan into motion, they are once again attempting to open the gate of the gods. You must do everything in your power to stop them, or Vanadil will be lost for eternity. Vanadil belongs to you. No one has the right to take it from you. Make your way to Declan's Tower and the uh in that tower await the answers to all your questions. There is still time. The end is near. You must stop them from opening the gate of the gods. I don't remember how the whole gate of the gods things ends. Decklefoot's Tower, Gate of the Gods, End of the World. This is more serious than I had imagined. What is this? Prismatic crystal? You should probably take this with you on your journey. I will take a shard of it as well. Got the prismatic fragment? I think that's all we need. After winning the battle, uh, you were put in a large room. Touch all part eight. Read that. All right. All shards are inserted. You receive. All right, we got an optional cutscene that I want to go get because it's got line in it and hold it. So we're gonna go do that. Um, dude, we've made a lot of damn progress tonight. Oh, I'm gonna go get re-raise. <laughs> Uh, so I want to go, we're going to take a detour. We're going to go to a bass dock and turn in my mission quest. And we're also going to go uh, buy the oh, friggin' re-raise item. I've been kind of skating by here. I think I'm going to turn this in. Yeah, I talked to Najee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I think Akita would be proud of me. I didn't just stop at Shadow Ward and we kept going. <laughs> Akita's like, do all the things. And I'm like, I don't know that I can. Did you um, see Ayami? You mean she said all of that? I guess she went in order to reconfirm what she already knew deep down in her heart. You don't have, um, hey, don't you go off telling her that I was worried about her now. It's just that, well, Ayami gets all the good missions while I get zilch. I wish I could get, got to go to Norg. I don't think Norg needs any more door boys. Yeah, they're probably right. Wait a minute. What do you mean by door boy? You've moved one inch from your post and I'll have you on the, on the train duty. Yes, ma'am. I'll clear on the northern front. Port Nagy. Port Nagy. I think she has that. For okay. Once we've done that. Wait, where are we at? Um, need to raise a progress bargain. So let's go. Do I have any crystals on me? Dumb. Oh, this is going to take me to room Maeve anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Don't, well, it's just one. For some reason, crystals increase your progress bar. You're like, because you're supposed to be gaining reputation. Is it the final image? Yeah. Uh, currently, Chief Engineer Sid is conducting research on architecture in Romave near the Sanctuary of Zaita. Your next mission is to travel there and assist him. Report to the Chief Engineer in the Metal Works for further details. We accept this mission. Yes. We are going to wait to do this one to go at the same time. We're going to at least get to the part where we need to go to Rimmave and then can go to Deckelfutz and do all the things. We got money again. A whole lot. Oh, we got some. Okay, we need to go talk to Sid now. And that would put us on the track to remove. For that we go to deckle punts, which we have the teleport for that too oh no we gotta go to juno first oh we don't need to talk to you i'm sorry nashi i love how he just gives me like wait we have a relationship with nashi but talking to him now it's like this is the president's office don't go in unless you have official business I'm like dude we've we've shared time with each other you can give me different dialogue. Like, friendly dialogue. Don't be rude, Nashi. I'm your only friend.
You've heard of the ancient civilization of Zillard, haven't you? Well, there is an archaeological archaeological remains of the civilization scattered about Vanadil. The Zillard used the, a material called uh, Kermit to construct many of these structures. This Kermit is more advanced than anything found in Bastok. Researching the, and re reducing this material would do wonders for Bastok, en Bastok energy. Ancient Kermit technology is, is the building block of the future, or so to speak. Deep within the sanctuary of Zaitai, you will find the entrance to Romave. I want you to bring me some reinforced Kermit from there. I'll be waiting. Okay. Going to Juno. What were Juno? Juno. You were. Mm, go mock house. Go into the tin shadow. Luckily, too, we don't have to climb Decklefoots. We have the, um, I'm pretty sure we have the Telepoint up there. We better have the fucking Telepoint up there. We better fucking have the Telepoint. I want to do the climb again. Like I told uh, you in Norg, I haven't seen Venera. Aren't you? Uh, after you met her in Castle of Straja, she came back here and locked herself in her room. I thought I would give her some time to herself, but when I went to check on her, she had already gone. If you hear anything, please let me know. Aldo. I think I might know where Venera is. Venera bread. Panera. We're going to start calling her Panera bread. Uh, are you certain? Yeah. I saw a group of uh, duckel guards. Lead, uh, led by Captain Wolfgang, take her away somewhere. Wolfgang? Then Cam must be behind this. But wait, there's more. <laughs> I've heard that Wolfgang took Venera to Decklefoot's tower. You're coming, Reynaldo. I'll be ready to, uh, I'll be ready in the blink of an eye. Somebody's going to be sorry if they ever love a finger on her. That's right, Dildo. You get her. But that's weird because it's your sister. I am going to call you Dildo from now on, though. Ma! Yeah, he's being a Dildo. I like that person's outfit. It's cute. Travel. We want to go. The will be Quibble, maybe? No. Oh. oh, shit. I didn't get it. Oh, oh my god, I didn't. Fuck. I mean, I've got, I've got the key. Wait. Um. Oh, damn it. 
don't want to duck with its tower for a cutscene. Um, this is um, possibly optional. Once inside duck with its tower, use the duck with its key to make uh, a left. The first work. And, uh, and then go, wait. Go to E8. Staying on the lower level. Cut the tournament door and go downstairs. Okay. So not terrible. I guess I'm we died up there by accident because we were looking around. That's probably why. What exactly is going on here? There was no reason for Fenera to be involved in this in the first place. Sorry about making you wait, Lion. Now let's get going. The problem is we can't get near them without uh, a prismatic fragment. You mean you didn't bring it? Don't worry. You again. What business do you have coming here? The same as you. Isn't that good enough an answer? I need no companions on my journey, and what do you think you can accomplish coming here without a prismatic fragment? We knew you would have it, so we're coming along for the ride. Do as you wish. Aldo, let's go. I'm sorry, my name is Aldo, or Dildo, head of the Tenshoto, instead. Just make sure you don't get in my way. He never changes. Just hold on a little bit longer, Venera. I'm coming. I'm saying Venera, but it's Verna, right? V-E-R-E-N-A would be Verna, right? I'm call Why do I keep calling her Venera? <laughs> like flipping the R and the N for some reason. Verna sounds stupid though. Did I not... Hold on. Did I not? When, I think this is before I knew about the survival guides and stuff. Yeah. I didn't even have that. I don't know what that glowy sparkly thingy is. Gonna be permanent door right here. It's funny that like they were just talking about needing Kermit, right? It's everywhere. If you need a sample, just go chip you off a piece and everywhere. Okay, anyway, uh, check the door, follow the path to the Kermit door at J8, then go to H8 and search for a question mark. Okay, we're just on the left. How many people are here? Still quiet. My journey's been very lonely. I rarely see any other NPCs or any other, or I'm sorry, NPCs. I rarely see any other players. Usually just me. Waddling along. Okay. Who's that? Yeah. Taking the elevator. 
At least see where this teleporter was. Where? What are these? Teleporter? Seed fragments are. I haven't touched them because I'm afraid they might do something. Right, once here. Head upstairs to the eleventh floor. And this is where I'll need to sneak into this. Right, there's a seed afterglow there. What does this do? It's just a thing. All right. These are the bat. If y'all remember, these are the bats that ended my journey up here last time. I want to talk on knee. I've been doing Ichi. Once we're up here, I don't see a crystal. Decent challenges. Where do I go? This way. They're blue, so you know they're serious. What is that? We're going to look that up. A U T E R E eight. Kinship packs. Oh, you're 83 and 85. Occasionally attacks two of the three times. That's pretty cool. I need to not get anywhere near your ass though. <laughs> Even matches. Good XP up here. Not as good as the Cape Terran though. You won't fall in the holes. I think. No. Let me just keep going. Don't fall in the holes. And there's crystal. Oh my. I think I actually I'm gonna run to the bathroom. I think I've got a bike and I'm not healed, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna go rest up or rest up, use the bathroom. Be right back.
Okay, I wanted to pop in and see what the kids were up to. My daughter's playing Minecraft and my son's playing Splatoon. Ooh, what the hell? Not that. Can oh we don't target we just stand on. We need to be carefulish I think. Oh, and a little bit more. Go through the portal to sell the man you'll receive a cut. Where are you three or were you three still alive? Now we can watch as life is breathed into the crystal or crystalless core once again. Crystalless core. What you see below is the heart of Decklefence Tower. Regenerating it will um open a path to Tulu. Or Tula. Tulia. Isn't Tulia the floating island also known as the Gate of the Guns? I thought it was destroyed when the ancient capital of the Zillar was submerged. Just as we Zillart slept for thousands of years, Tulia, is it Tulia? Yeah. Also remains in slumber, miles above the surface of Vanadil. It binds its time until the day of awakening, and when it awakens, eternal paradise will be nothing or will be within our grasp. Slept? You mean it to tell me that you've been sleeping here in Decklefoot's Tower for 10,000 years? Um. You were fairly intuitive for a mere hume. Thirty years ago, when a Rogrim came into contact with the crystal in the cursed Nether Northlands, some of its energy flowed to this tower. It was the burst of power that awoke us, giving us the opportunity to continue our quest for paradise. Long ago, our people paid the price for what you did. Uh, what's to be gained by chasing another lost dream? Every soul in Vanadale wants to believe that there's a gate to eternal paradise somewhere on this planet. A pure, untainted world, perfect in every facet, a crystalline paradise fit for the gods. That is the vision, of, and you vermin are not part of it. I've had enough. Or I've, I've had enough. You spent the last 30 years deceiving all of us in Juno. You could care less about the people of this world. You were just using the power of the gods in an attempt to take over Vanadil. <laughs> I can no longer fool you. Behold! I am the will of the crystal. Who the hell are these? Wait, wait. And now I shall wield its true power that the planet is mine. Rise forth, Crystal Warriors. And who the hell are these characters? I will let you take care of, or let them take care of you. Ah, and we have uninvited guests. All right. Um, enter the battle. Do not cast trust until after the cutscene, after examining the uh, gate. Okay. Cause it'll dispel everything. <laughs> not the right thing. Why did it turn me around? Don't need to summon. Oh, wait. I was supposed to kick that door. Oopsie. 
kind of said leave. Does that mean I have to rewatch the cutscene? I might. Okay, no. <laughs> oh, the music is gone. Oops. Um, oh, that's the battle. Whoopsie. All right. Now I can summon. Uh, I don't. Oh, I never bought a re-raise item again. I did it again. <laughs> we went to town to do that. So you've come here to die, have you? Well, I'll give you the honor of being uh, being taken down by my blade. those heels dude's got some kicks So what happens if I summon Lion's Familiar in here? I don't even know the order I should do skill chains in. It's been too long. And I don't have Tashi Gecko, so. The dude, bro's getting his ass kicked. I haven't even hit him. I have zero TV. <laughs> I don't know. They might not because after a certain amount of HP, these idiots will not use weapon skills. They'll be dead and won't use their weapon skills. I wish there was a command that made them do it. I probably should have saved that ability that does a weapon skill um, or prep the mob for a weapon skill because they'll they'll play off that. Ow. Yeah. 
Oh dear. Oh my God, please finish the weapon skills. Val, he's got 2%. He's got 2%. Kill it. Oh my God. Val, you moron. Got freaking TP. Won't use it. Killed Shantoto, though. I think we're reaching the limit of what I can do with level 69 trusts. Look at the waddle. Look at the waddle. I am the will of the crystal. How could I be defeated by mere mortals? Warriors, why do you just sit there and watch? My poor brother, haven't you realized the crystal doesn't need you anymore? Eld, what do you mean? Why are you... You were foolish to believe that the crystals ever chose you. The crystal doesn't need me. I can't be, it can't be possible. You can't leave me here like this. Yes, you still meet, need me to revive Tulu or Tulilia, Tulilla, whatever. Regenerating the uh, crystalless core. You need not worry my brother. I have found another way to do that. Now let the show begin. Easy. Yeah. Vern Verna. Verna, are you all right? She's hypnotized. Of course she's all right. Aren't you imbecile? Why would I harm my key to the chrysalis core? A lucky find. This girl was who would have thought this simple Hume would have such an extraordinary resonating ability. No. So you were planning to use her all along? Farewell, my little brother. Return to the crystal uh, from which you were born. Why, why did you, why did I do, what did I do to deserve this? <laughs> Little brother, but then you're the elder prince of Zillard. You shouldn't be deceived by appearances. My growth was stopped the moment I came in contact with the crystal 10,000 years ago. In 10,000 years, I have waited to put my plan into motion. Plan? You mean to open the gate of the gods? What else? To open the gate, the regener uh, regeneration of the chrysalis core was necessary. However, the unexpected arrival of Rogram's character interfered with the crystal crystal's power. His ex uh, existence created too much noise. Lucky for me, you people succeeded in defeating the Shadow Lord, causing the noise to disappear. My plan took a turn when I realized that Rogram was a tellkeeper. I could utilize the long lost memories of the ancients he carried to regenerate the chrysalis core. Memories of the ancients? What does that have to do with the rogue room? I would not think that you would know of such matters. I assume that not even rogue room himself knew. What he carried was not in his mind, but in his blood. If I were to obtain a part of him, I could use it instead of having to rely on his, my useless brother. But even if you did have it, you wouldn't be able to use it on your own. Yes, you are right. There is, that is where your sister, uh, Verna, comes in. The soul of your younger sister resonates with the souls of the beastmen. Not only she can communicate with them. I plan to use her ability to unlock the memories of the ancients and project them into the Decklefoot's Tower, thus regenerating the Chrysalis Core and opening the path to Tulu. Once the Lowland has been awakened, I can make, make 
I can continue my preparations there, just as I did 10,000 years ago. Now, Verna, let us begin. Stop. What are you doing to her? Just noticed my two hour is a one hour now and not a two hour. When did that become a thing? It cannot be. Behold, the gate of the gods. The Willa. Willa. Gate of the gods. How would you pronounce that, Vod? T U Poshfi L I. Tulia? Tulia? Verna! I have no more use for her. If you want her that much, you can have her back. Auto got her. What that? Ninja heal. Nope. You missed it. Verna, open your eyes. Verna. Don't you. Don't you too want to pass through the gate of the gods? Don't you too want to know what awaits in the eternal paradise? Come to Tulila and see with your own eyes. Or Tulia. Tulia. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Tulia. Only after you enter paradise will you mortals know true happiness. The question is to which you have no answer. You will find the answers in Tulia. And once you have come to realize that your existence is meaningless, I will change the world into the into a crystal and set the shine for eternity. You wouldn't dare. I wouldn't. Why don't you come to Tulia and find out? However, only those who have been blessed by the light and those whose power have been accepted by the crystal may pass through the gate. Travel to Romave and pro pro prove yourself. I will be waiting for you on the other side. Wait. Wait, why you? Stop. <laughs> Someone has to stop him, or it will mean the end of Vanadil as we know it. I'm going back to Norg, I'll see if my father uh, can give us any help. Okay. Um mm -hmm. Items, item, la 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 la. I don't know what that means. No sad chant. Oh, sad. 
be still. Alright, take me back to Lower Juno, I think. I need to get Mog House together. That's just the loading screen. Fuck it. Kindred Crest. I don't know what that. Kindred's Crest. How long have I had that? Is this a new type of white kindred still? Looks like it. These are new though. So there's Beastman Seals, Kindred Seals, and Kindred Crest. It's you. I see that you made it out alive. Me, I'm fine. But Verna, been unconscious, unconscious since we returned. Come with me. From what I see, her mind's been poisoned. I never knew that. Uh, never knew that Eld had that kind of power. Or Ald. Now that you mention it, I hardly know anything about him. I guess I never really thought uh, that I need, needed to know. If I got what I wanted, I was happy. Aldo? Verna. Do you know who I am, Verna? Aldo. Yes, I'm all right. So do you do you remember what happened in the Stellar uh, Fulcrum? Fulcrum? Not, not really. It was like watching a play. See, I was controlled by the Shadow Lord's sheer will. You don't have to say any more. It's all over now, and I think he's, uh, think the heavens that you're back here safe with me, Aldo. I appreciate that you traveling here, Beauregard. However, I don't know if I can carry on this game with Elds anymore. Or Ald. 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 Hmm. I know. All right, there's our stomp over story bit. Verna is alive, not dead. She didn't crack her head. I guess Aldo did actually catch her. I mean, we couldn't have caught her. I mean, look at her little tiny arms. You can't catch shit. All right, now we're all headed to Romaze. All quests lead there now. All right, head to Norg. 1.1. And then go talk to Gilgamesh again. Doing all this so quickly is mind boggling to me. Did this over the course of like many nights. <laughs> many nights. I do need to try Matt tonight, uh, though, because if I fail, I have to go get another uh, paper, and it's a bitch to get. So 
I wish there was a like I wish I had thief and I could do it very easily uh just steal from it but playing as a samurai with no access to any real gear that's like gonna be a pain in the ass I'm pretty sure I can't summon trust. I'll try. But I don't think I can. It's considered magic. I wonder if it will let you. Hmm. Arg, I heard that from Lion what happened in Duckfoot's Tower. Our ancient friend called the island of floating over Quifum at the Lu, the gate of the gods. Old also said that those who have been blessed by the light, whose power has been accepted by the crystal, can pass through the gate. What does the boy think he's doing? Playing some kind of game with uh, Vanadil as his prize? Camu. Camui? <laughs> have you ever heard of the name of Maeve? Ald mentioned it um, before he left for Duckfoot's Tower, Romave. Hmm. On the northern tip of the uh, mind, I can never get this. M mind Artia is a wild, untamed region called Sanctuary of Zaita. In this area, there remains a scent of ancient ruins. Ruins. I remember those ruins being referred to as Romave. However, those ruins, also known as the Temple of Dissolution, have long been feared by many. Hmm, <clears throat> frightening place the Zaita be. You never know what's going to creep up behind your back. Bargard, take uh, care when traveling up there, unless you want to be swimming in Davy Jones' locker. Okay. I'll be careful. Hold on there, Missy. You're not going with Bargard this time. I need you to travel to Juno and keep an eye on these beastmen. But... Don't talk back. <laughs> Don't talk back to me. You know what you have to do. Now go do it. And I'll stay here and watch over my hideout. Okay. Oh, uh, We've talked to Gilgamesh. Everything is going to remove now. It's cool that there's a little. Oh shit! I'm gonna go get a re race. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I won't do it. I do feel like healing this. So I'm gonna go change jobs and heal. I am going to change jobs, but I'm going to go get level 70. So we're going to pop up to Cape Terran and kill some more of those dudes. Uh, not that. We need to teleport from Crystal. I don't know which one it's going to be, though. Ball Bell. Yep. And the reason I want to get this out of the way is if I can get, if we fail, I can go get another uh, thing on my off stream and not have to wait. Like it's sucky because like the only way to get the item is to kill one mob in one little hole over and over again with a five minute respawn. So it's a pain in the dick.
I did it again though. I came out here with a uh, ninja sub jump. <laughs> Instead of thief to kill stuff faster. themselves what butthole I didn't want to get both of you oh that's frostman that's the boss Let's see. Uh, let's kill the manticore Or try to and then see if we can fall across me. Usually it might be okay. I think he drops a great sword. Let's see. Frost Moon. Yeah, he drops the lot part. This is a great sword with dispel. What's up, Ditsy? Bone Vowel. Play off that. Or not. Twelve percent. Vol wouldn't use his freaking TP again. Didn't it? We didn't get uh, the sword there. Fuck.
lion or treasure hunting skills. Sick. There's even a samurai sword I can get right now. I'll look it up. Great katana. We are level 69. Still fighting this thing, really? Let me just kill it. Here. I prepped it for you. Kill it. Check. Can we cheat the uh, samurai thing? I just realized my third eye macker is fucked up. This needs to be here. There's somebody else out here now. Just, just notice them show up.
Every guy I'm reading is like, you need this and this and this. And I don't think that shit you can get anymore. I'm gonna have to get Tashi Gecko, it looks like. And I haven't been getting any skill up, so I don't know what I need to fight to get that. So I need to get 225. I'm five levels under. If I buy the thing at point one, not a whole point. like reading through all these strategies of what to do with Matt. The thief way was just steal from him. That's all you had to do. And I'm dumb and staggered too. That's actually really bad because Kapupi doesn't have any. Uh, well, that works. Phoebe doesn't have MP, so <laughs> this is bad. Worked out in the end. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> oh, zero. Oh, we got like three or four moms away.
Why did you not summon Shintoto? What? Sometimes it's weird how it doesn't summon everybody. turn into the quest thingies. Um, Jacobus. Do all three. Alright, there's Sam. Uh, quest, maybe? No. Missions. Nope. And it's done. There we go. I know, it just ended there. You're gonna do more than that. Shantoto is about skill chain, not gonna waste my TP. Uh huh. well, we do Zillard. Here we go. What? I was about to say, did you just stop there? I'm on like Zillart did. We're cheesing XP here. I'm not really cheesing, but. There's Bass Talk. Y'all gonna kill this? Or are we just gonna talk about are currently 70. Uh, let's go ahead. We need to go talk to Matt. We got to talk to Matt and then I'm going to see if I can buy um, stuff to get Tashi Gecko. <laughs> Problem is, I have no gear, <laughs> like none. You know, it's like the poopiest thing about all this shit. It's I can't really get good gear because nobody has anything on the fucking auction house. So even like. Even if I had money, I can't buy gear to do anything.
been a long road to the top. I'm sure you've had your share of hard times along the way. I want you to remember back to your first day you stepped into Vanadil, son. You were still a tiny, uh, tiny ant trying to climb a mountain, but now look at you, riding the clouds to the stars. Don't think you've reached the top. Even if you break one limit, there's always another waiting for you. But it's our um, persistent aiming for the top that makes us great. However, I'm getting old and there's not much left to teach you. One tale together has reached its final chapter, so to speak. Before you turn the page, I'll need you to bring me a samurai's testimony. Uh, what's that look on your face? Rounding or, uh, rounding or something like that? Should be no problem for a guy like you. Master Matt. What in? Oh, it's you, Wolfgang. I wish you had stop, stop sneaking up on me like that. I've had a bad heart. It is time, sir. Oh, yes, of course. Sir, you're not uh, still bothering adventurers with your games, are you? Games? You should talk, Wolfgang. Why, Bargard here could slice you up and eat you for breakfast. Yes, sir. Now we must be off. I will meet you at the gate when you arrive. I'm sorry about that, uh, about the interruption. Anyway, uh, go get me a Zamorak's testimony. While you're doing that, I'll finish my business with Wolfgang. Uh, I already have one. It wasn't that hard, was it? I bet you're wondering why I keep having uh, you travel around the globe collecting all these rare uh, obscure items for me. Huh. I know uh, what you're thinking. You're sick and tired of playing fetch for old Matt. You want uh, a chance to show me what you're really made of? Well, now that you've mentioned it, I think I'm, I'd be delighted to test your might with my own hand. I may look old, but I still have a lot to spunk in me. I can th uh, take anything and everything you've got. What do you say? You'll get a chance to get back at me for all the trouble I've put you through, and I'll get, you, uh, and I'll get some good exercise. That's the spirit. Now take that samurai testimony to the burning circle and throw it in, and I'll be waiting for you inside. Oh, shit. I did not know it was going to teleport me there. Oh, it didn't. Oh, it did. I think I have this teleport. There's no map of this area. Should be. Okay, so we will come back for you, Matt. I really don't know how I'm going to do this. Unless they've nerfed him, which I don't think they have. And I don't have a pole arm to do the pole arm strategy. Let's see what we can get for gear. These are all shields. That sucks.
All right, he does have a better katana. Let's we'll see if I, there's one on the auction house first. There's not much like they've given a lot of avenues to advance, but like even that NPC does not give earrings, does not give uh, rings. So what are you supposed to do? Because the only way to get that stuff, to my knowledge anyway, is to get them from crafting. And you're talking about a lot of time investment for shit that won't resell. I don't know that that's even that good. different if I could get that since that has 80 damage so that's 72 what was the item it's this right so that's 76 damage at 540 and that's the faster sword with subtle blow Someone hasn't bought any since 2021. Let's see if I can get it for 10k. one in a year did someone really put this thing up at 50k and it hasn't been bought in a year or over a year because that was may of last year Thirty K. All right, we'll we'll deal with it. Um, what about earrings? Mm, is this an alpha? Mm, oh, it's not. Sort by level. Oh dear. It's a nighttime thing. Invasion. I don't want to lower my attack. No. There's like nothing. You see what I'm talking about? There's nothing. Like, how am I supposed to wear an earring if there's, like, none? A dodge earring. And everything just sells for 10k, too. Oh, you want to cast the earring? 50k. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. All right, rings. 
Let's, let's look how ridiculous it is trying to find a ring. Come on. All right. Ooh. So if I was playing Ranger, I could get one ring or two rigs. Hmm. Nope. Nope. Oops. All right, that's actually nice. 300k. <laughs> Sun ring, 20k. One accuracy. There's just not shit. So I really don't know what a new player is supposed to do about the gearing situation like that then. All right, we might have to go with that. Strength plus eight. I have a million cloak up here. Yep. I might have to buy that. There's 50k. There's one item. Oh, no. Maybe not. This person's like, no, we will not let you buy that for 50K, even though that's what everyone's bought it for. Jesus. K price hike. All right, cool. That's pointless. something weren't they nobody has any though oh uh, all right back we'll see what else that we can't buy Ooh, a behemoth mantle, 30k.
Wow. <laughs> Not much options, is there? Costume Slum. Okay. What's this bill? 30k. We're probably going to come back with that. Oh, or speed bill. 300k for a speed bill. That's actually kind of cool. Thor belts 400k. That's crazy. I don't remember those being that worth nearly that much back in the day. All right, uh, we're officially broke again. Welcome to back in this game. Got a new armor piece. Uh, what else did I buy? A back. Which I don't know that that was worth buying. I guess I can sell my sh old shit. My old Greg Don. Uh, I'll keep the cape. All right, so skill is the next thing I need. combat skills so how much skills oh my god how am I going to read this hand to hand dagger sword great sword axe great axe scythe polearm katana Great katana, two hundred. By thirty six of them. All right. So it's random between like 0.2 and 0.3. I think I bought too many. Maybe not. We could have gone the slow, slow way and tried to do this, but <laughs> that. We learned Tashi Gecko.
I wonder what those boxes are that are opening. Anyway, um, let's get yeah. train. I've been doing something wrong this whole time. I don't know what half of this shit is. I think they're pop items. Most of this stuff is poop. I think I'm just shit out of luck, aren't I? I want to spend all my sparks, even though, I mean, I've got a lot of those copper deeds. Trade them. Sell them. Uh, 
God, my gear looks like ass. My belt is garbage. What about ammo? Mm. Ammo or range? I remember. It. Oh, yeah. I forgot there was grips. Got all about grips. I even find what I can use. Fire grip. Uh can't even find anything I can use. Alright. That's not a go. Please sort. Please let me sort. Hedgehog bomb, none. Whole lot of nothing. Okay. What about a bow and arrow? that would actually give me a stat increase anyway. <laughs> no. Did I already look through necklaces? I have. I think my current necklace gives me, what, two accuracy? <laughs> actually good 60k fuck it way more than I should spend mm, we already just we already figured out that there was nothing we can get there waste is the last thing I really didn't really look through It was, that's where we saw the speed belt. But don't have 300k for it. That's about, I think that's about all I can do. So what I have, I guess, is what I have. Stretch. Am I slouching too much, honey? <laughs> I'm saying I don't have so much things. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I was kind of getting in the... I was probably about off the camera. <laughs> I need to buy some food, too. If I can find any. Courage ring. Lol. I'm gonna buy this. For little fucking levels at this point. Just to have an earring. <laughs> just just to have an earring. All right, let's go die to Matt, shall we? Um, oh, I didn't buy food, but although I don't, probably can't now. And before, before it's like, oh, you ran out of money. I still have like a bunch of those tickets I can turn into spark. So I have the ability to have some money. Don't know what's good. What is rice? Oh, I think one's rice. Let's see. My hands increase my rice balls. PQ rice balls. HP mon. What? That's terrible. <laughs> That's such a terrible stat. I don't know it's good food anymore. I guess I'll just look at what's open. Plus 22 attack. Might just do meat myth kebab. Actually, soul sushi is probably just the best. Like one food per. Oh, nobody sells soul sushi. That sucks. That would have been perfect. Squid. All right, well, just squid sushi seems cheaper. And this is 10k. All right, you got about all I can do now. Unless there's anything in my house that I could equip, which I don't. Maybe I should have been opening chest all this time. I don't even know why I kept the re raising ring.
Oh, apparently there's other rice balls. Where? Cool. Engage back immediately and use all of the Tachi Gecko. All right, I'm trying to read some strats here. Uh, okay. Tasha, do a weapon skills. All right, and Gecko Yukaza. That's based on having Tasha. Can't use that. So I'm looking up uh, weapon skill stuff. Gecko, Yukaza. Just wait. Hold on, let's read. One, two. Now I'm just. Gecko and Yukaza. I'm gonna get my ass handed to me, chat. I'm going to tell you that now. <laughs> he was beaten in 35 seconds. Well, let me summon. Really? Did I oversell? I did not know that it was going to let me summon trust. None of this guy says anything about summoning trust. I was just kind of curious if it would let me. He might just kick him out there. That would be fucking hilarious if they did. Well, this might be dumb if trust actually worked. And I just spent a whole bunch of money on nothing. You might say I'm cheating. needs to be updated that says trust work okay i just wasted so much time uh, could pp dad i've wasted so much time <laughs> oh 
Okay. Oh my dear. I wasted so much time and money. <laughs> I feel so silly. Like, so silly right now. Can I take back the last 20 minutes of trying gear and shit? Or the fact that I didn't even Tashi Gecko, so all the. Oh. Well, not my fault. I thought it was going to restrict me from summoning. I just thought I'd try it. So, whatever. Fucking wall. We spent like 250k or 300k on crap. Whatever. <laughs> I'm having a hard time coping with this. So you really can just be in plain AF with nothing. Go in there with trust and finish it. Or he's going to tell me I cheated. I have to admit that was one. Okay. I guess it's because trust are considered magic. It's just kind of hard to believe that you had. Uh, but did you know that Juno was once run down tiny little fishing village? Now look at her. There ain't a soul in Vanadil who doesn't know her beauty. Let me tell you a story. Long ago, there was a young man, captain of a fishing boat. He who was, uh, lived a modest life in a peaceful harbor of Juno, it has often hard for him to make ends meet, but he and his fishing buddies had no complaints. They loved their tiny village. However, one stormy night, fate came knocking at his door when he rescued two strange lads from the nearby waters. From that day on, the wheels, changed, uh, wheels of change began to turn. There was something different and special. Without those two, they possessed a great deal of knowledge and leadership, and just a short period of time, they transformed Juno from an insignificant dot on the map into a great metropolis. At first, the captain welcomed these changes with open arms. Uh, however, later he began to ask himself if all of that was truly good for the good of Juno, or of the city, was just being used as a piece of some bigger plan put into motion by the two mysterious men. But by then, it was too late. Juno and the people living within her walls had changed. There was no turning back. And so the captain decided while he still had life inside of his bones that he uh, would make it his mission to remain and watch over his hometown. Good day, Matt. Oh, if it isn't Dr. Munn, Burrox. <laughs> you are looking quite healthy these days, old chap. As, a healthy, or as healthy as a hobgoblin, thanks to your treatment, you know how to keep the patients happy. Haha, <laughs> I just, uh, I just doing my job. By the way, hmm? you mentioned the captain uh, watching over Juno. What exactly was he making sure of? Hmm. Well, he was probably just making sure that everybody was happy. You know, I think you are probably right. There are many things out there that threaten the happiness of all of Juno and Noans, and he couldn't stand to sit back and watch the happiness be snatched away from them. Matt. Ah, uh, will you look at the time? I must be getting back to my, uh, getting back to the infirmary. Take care, my friend. Don't you worry, Doctor. I always do. Oh, and you keep uh, working on Wolfgang. Once he sees what's really going on in this place, he'll start to change. I know it. As do I. Now, where was I? As much as I'd long to see it, it's like likely I won't be around when the truth finally comes out. But younger vitres like you. Or uh, like you will. That's why I want you to be uh, all that you can be. Do not forget the hardships you have endured to make it this far. And maybe one day you too will find something worth giving your life to protect. They say that when there is a beginning, there is an end. However, I believe that some things like memories don't have to end. That is where you young folk come in. 
And that is all the simple old man can ask for. Well, a whole lot of, uh, of dubbing. That was, I've been dreading this. <laughs> oh man. No, I need to fix my thing too. Macros. What? There we go. Well, whatever. Part of the experience, right? I'm going to say yes. Mm, I need a book. There's probably a place that has books in Juno. I just don't know where it is. Sanctuary of Zyta. And head to Romave. I have an idea of where I want this to end. Oh, we got a bunch of quests. Oh, that's right. There is. Uh, Squid Gen, thanks so much for the follow. I have a tendency to forget things. I knew I'd seen one, but I couldn't remember where it was. I was like, I'm going to go back to work. <laughs> right. There's a lot of books and a lot of teleports and a lot of things that weren't here when I played. We'll see if I can finish these two missions before we go to bed. The Bastok one's going to be a little bit of a bitch. Unless the map has all the question marks labeled. Probably doesn't. Mm -hmm. Am I going backwards? No. Wait, yes. Yes, I am. Uh, about a map here. No, no map. Yeah, the rock. I did not have the location I was wanting. I hope there's a quick teleport back to the maves here. No, oh, I didn't take the shortcut.
We did a whole lot though. We did all of those Zillart missions tonight. Finished the uh, Shadow Lord tonight. Could have done even more if I didn't. If I knew I could have taken trust in on Matt. <laughs> Not spend a whole bunch of time trying to buy gear. Makes a little more sense now why uh, uh that's the case. I also see now why a whole bunch of people have a whole bunch of accounts, but man, I'm seeing people with like five or six accounts. They're paying like seventy, eighty dollars to play this game a month. People in this game have really gone hard, hardcore. All right. I need to, I guess I need to sneak. We made it to Ramev. Now and okay, <laughs> oh, I did the wrong thing. Can you? Oh god! All right, now. <laughs> so you can be on this side. First two sides. I mean, go this way. We're looking for a question, question mark. Not there. In before my trust gets stuck and lost. Since that's it tends to be what they do. No oh dear. Hello. Kind of was not expecting that. bound again <laughs> we just love being bound i can't believe we found the question mark uh that quickly though i remember having to help find people find this stupid thing but i mean amount kind of trivial trivialized this whole thing too because used to like Having magic in your suck because the weapons aggro to everything so you needed silent oils of course and then you had to clear an area to fight these. Oh, I'm bound again. Oh, we're just. Oh, you it. Oh, God. Well, we're going to be sitting here for a minute. If I attack this. Nope. Well, 
Whenever we get unbound, we'll play the game again. So what happened after that? Track down the question question mark again. Oh, so I have to find a question question mark again. Okay. Well. While we wait, I don't see any. Oh, there is a book up there. I should forget the book. I literally can't do anything. I can warp away and have to do it all over again. Sit here and wait. We've been bound almost for three minutes now. Oh, I can move. Yay. Track down the question, question mark again. Not there. I think it's all on this first rim. I may be wrong, we'll, but we'll check. I guess it can also be in the doors. Not here. Alright, double check, make sure it's still on the second room. Oh, it can be. Okay. It can even be back on the third room. Moving up to these. Come on. It doesn't look like it's up here. Is that not a door? I thought that was a door. Is 
this the door? Nope. Okay. They're not doors. I think all the doors are open by default. We found the first question mark so easily. Here we go. Nice. Okay. I remember doing XP parties here when people didn't have sea access or sky access. I actually really loved camping here because I love the music so much. It was just chill. So that finishes that quest. And go up and get the book. Oh, we can't go from here. Uh, I gotta remember how to do this too. Mm -hmm. Wait. Mm. How do you do this again? Vaz, is that you? Did you get Robert to feed? Did you get Robert to feed, uh, Rue? Ah, uh, I taught him how to do it yesterday. Or told him what to do yesterday. I want to try to get him... To start them when we're awake. Talk about my dog. I'm so sense of his butt all day. I'm trying to get him to do more things around the house. There should be a book. Oh, here. All right, we got the teleport. Now head to room even zone in the Hall of Guns, H5, right here. Sadly, I think we're going to have to end stream here. Just looked over at six o'clock. I was going to try to make it to, you know, where, but. And I probably still could, but it would take a little longer. The gate does not seem to be a door it is one of the walls around it all right can't go any further now we leave how far it is there's some legwork right here we'll see if it's quick and we'll do what I wanted to do if it doesn't then we'll have to stop and come back tomorrow which means that I can do a little XP and no mud come on
Talk so loud, can get the mic. Erg, so you say you couldn't journey deeper into the temple because the uh, grate was blocking your way. What, you saw a stairwell or stairway on the other side of the blooming gate? Leave it to the Zillart to build something crazy like that. Uh, but this ain't no time for some complaining. We've got to figure out how to get that stairway. There's got to be a way to open the wall. Some kind of key. Mm, I got it. You say the Zillart used crystals to power the strange machines, right? Then maybe... I think we may know a way to get through that gate. Listen up, Burgard. I want you to find a Mithra named Mary or M Meru or something like that. She was in Norg a while back, uh, but now she could be anywhere on the mainland. While this trouble over a cat, well, when that lady was here, she was telling, uh, tried selling us a strange crystal she had found in the sanctuary of Zaita. I don't think she was trying to pull a fast one, but no one um, was interested in her booty, so she packed up and left uh, for somewhere else. But now that I me thinks about it, that crystal she found in Zaita may be just what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, it's Cindy Lou. <laughs> uh, Ruby, uh, which would be Bow Bow? No. Hi there. Aren't you the adventurer known as Baragard? The winds carry word of the interest in the ruins of the Le Talor. I know how to get in. It's the very center of the ruins. I mean, I wouldn't mind just telling you, but you know what they say. Nothing value should come for free. I have a little favor to ask. Underneath the Altepa Desert Way, the quick sand clay caves, I've got a hunch that there's some undiscovered treasure in there still waiting to be claimed. Just head a short way into the caves and pick up something that strikes up value and... If I like what you bring me, everything in the room. All right. Not a bad deal, right? You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Sounds fair. Okay, then it's a deal. The quicksand caves are expensive and uh, many interests, but I'm sure you'll figure them out. Okay. All right. All right, we're just going to set our home point here to make this faster. Uh, travel to D12, watch around type of desert, and head into the quicksand caves. No, 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 this sucks. Right. Okay, um, a little D12, I don't think there's a faster way there. What are a couple options how to navigate through quicksand saves and make this clear? Your objective is to reach point on map 7. To get there, you're going to need to pass through map 4. There's a That's the way to get there. Is to go to K8. Alright, so I have to go down that way. I don't have a choice. I was really hoping there was going to be one of those. Take a home point there.
Uh, well, it says I can go to HP1. Okay. Keep doing that. Quick sand cave, HP1. I'm going south. All right, should be follow left the wall until first turn. Oh dear God, we got shit aggros. This belonging cactus is like. <laughs> this thing actually has a timer on sneak i don't know i thought I remember sneaking all that had like a variable timer that wasn't ever guaranteed let me take next right this is apparently faster than walking to d12 the old other way this makes sense Been cool if they had put a book at D12. Or a way back up from this spot. That'd been nice. Not that bad. Gotta figure out how to get out of here, though. Be a ramp. There it is. Of all the teleports they have in this game, there's not enough teleports down here. <laughs> Such a pretty night sky. You know, I, I, there was a time when I remember being blown away by the graphics in this game. Just need me. Maybe. We were in here earlier and I can't remember if it was just sneak or not. I guess we'll find out.
This time, instead of going straight, we're going to go right. I'm so glad I did ninja and leveled all that. I, all the white mage probably would have been a lot easier or cheaper. But ninja works. All right, now we'll go to G8, which is the other side of this. I'm waiting for that day that I'm not paying attention and I'll walk into a H or like an NM that's got true sight and sound and kicks my ass. Like, how dare you not pay attention to where you're going? to touch a pit or, wait am I supposed to hold on uh, walk through the door and fall down to pit I eight touch the question mark uh, it's like yes to spawn the ancient vessel well it's not this question mark it says I have to fall in the hole. I'm going to touch this just in case, though. You found it. Okay. Just making sure. I don't know what that one's for. We're touching random question marks now. Now, where's my vessel? There. Dig it out. Ancient vessel. actually taking a beating see anything i'm i'm so tiny and where this thing's standing i can't see shit all right so we're back to my npcs having tp but won't use it because the mob's almost dead it would be so nice if they would give me an ability to cause them to use weapon skills. I have to use the weapon skill myself to make them do it. They won't just make their own skill chain like they will at the beginning of a pool, which is very weird. Gonna strap 
papers. Return to the lady, and that should be the end of that. Yeah, I know exactly where we're ending tonight. It'll be awesome. It may take us a little longer than I wanted to, but it'll be a great place to stop. And I'm super excited. <laughs> Wow, this is incredible. Now listen carefully and I'll tell you what I know about the ruins, just like I promised. What I'm about to tell you just happened long before I came to Azots. Azots. I went alone to explore uh, Le Talor and a place that has been known as a holy land since ancient times. I was traveling through the dense fog and, it, and though it embarrasses me to recall, I completely lost my way. After wandering for a time, I somehow found myself in the ruins. What I saw there, you already know, these large statues facing one another and in the great hall and beyond the immovable hall, the bars the way into the heart of the ruins. I searched every inch of that place and then I found it, a mysterious crystal glowing with a clear blue light. I don't know what it was, that, uh, what it was there, but it was shining from below the surface of the lake in the great hall, glowing as if uh, in response to the moonlight that poured in from above. This is that Solarian crystal. I brought it back with me thinking I could sell it, but I haven't been able to find a buyer. Might as well give it to you. Place it into the hollow at the center of the wa uh, wall and see what happens for yourself. You wouldn't want me to spoil it now, would you? All right, back to Rebel. Pretty sure it's back to Rebel. Optional go to Norgan Kong. Yeah, it's optional what we're going to do anyway. No, not Kazam. Nork. I'm resetting my home point here, too. But I'm sorry, I'm running a little late tonight. And thank you for doing the dogs for me. I appreciate it. Oh, okay. <laughs> So the Cerulean Crystal, that's what we're searching for. It looks like you had a hell of a time trying to get your hands on it. The real hell is to come, Bar. Uh, crystal Warriors, Floating Islands, it all may seem crazy, but don't let uh, that get in your way. Your Venadil's only hope. That's really all. That was the optional. That was the optional. Stuck on something. Okay. I think when we come back tomorrow, we'll go back to the Bastok missions because we have that thing to turn into Sid. So we're just going to do this part because I can fast travel up there. I mean, I can turn in the Bastok mission, but I would still be picking up. So I'd rather leave that for the turn in for tomorrow.
there's a moon thing here too, like a moon door. If I remember correctly, we'll have to look into that. I don't remember what it's for. I thought it was for this, but I guess it's not. All right, the, the culmination of tonight's stream. The, I didn't switch to Final Fantasy 12. Cause I was like, oh dude, the Shadow Lord's done. We could end Final Fantasy 11, knowing that that's all we set out to do. But we decided, no, we're gonna keep pushing forward. We will make it to Sky. And we'll laugh when it's like, hurt, you did something wrong. Oh, shit. We've been waiting for you, Baru. I've got a score to settle with Elm. It's time to put an end to that mid net okay plan, that little dude's plan. I'm not certain about uh, what he meant by being blessed by the light, but I do know that he uh, that we need that cerule cerulean crystal. You hold it, or you you hold to find out. He just made a short slur, and I'm a small person, very small bear person. That dude's just a kid. He stopped aging or something. He's 10,000 years old because Japanese love to make young things like 10,000 10, years old. So that's how it works. Well, there's no turning back now. Let's go, Zed. You too, Bar Guard. Here we go. Not gonna mean much to anybody but like the old players, I think. It seems uh, as if we cannot continue on any further. What's going on? Does that mean our powers have not accepted our our power power was not accepted by the crystal? How long have awaited thine arrival? Welcome mortals to the Temple of Altana. Eons ago the temple was destroyed, however, it appears doth not hinder its function. Thou hast come here to try and stop Eld to keep him from opening the gate of the gods. I am Yevnal, a servant of the Dawn Goddess. I watch over the path leading to the gate. All the Zillart, including Ald, or Eld, are still bound by our cursed past. As thou already know, his plan began 10,000 years ago when he came into contact with the five crystals that rest beneath the surface of Vanadil and the true crystal. The crystal that exists above the earth now are nothing but mere replicas lacking true power. We still are harnessed uh, the five true crystals power divine and uh, elementary and success er, succeeded in containing uh, it in a smaller form. However, during uh, the meltdown, the energy of the smaller crystals was simultaneously released and spread to the far reaches of Xanadil. Over centuries, the energy accumulated inside the bodies of living beings on the planet uh, causing them to crystallize. Thus, they took the form of the crystals that you uh, found throughout Vanadil. Mortals are an incomplete species. When Eld's quest for paradise was thwarted, life on this planet lost its perfection. Practically, thine inability to communicate with others of thine race cast a shadow over thy development. This inability became Increasingly evident after the meltdown divided um, thee into five races. The arrogance of the Elven, the envy of the Mithra, the cowardice of the Taru, the apathy of the Humes, and the rage of the Galka. There are the uh, traits thou must carry with thee, and thou must uh, thou make thy journey 
through life. So I'm a coward. However, unlike the tales of the legends tell, uh, these traits are not some ancient curse. They are merely an after effect of the energy released during the meltdown. Uh, one can uh, understand why Eld would aspire for perfection. However, one can see why others would acknowledge the benefits of imperfection. On the other side of this gate lies the gate of the gods. Alia, I beg of thee, release El and what remains of the Zillark consciousness from the crystal's binds. I pray for thy safe journey. May the goddess of the dawn protect th thee in her mercy. But as one bright star shines through the clouds at night, and as one song rings clear above the roar of beast, we hold to one hope in these darkest of times. And someday that hope will become our dream, our prayers. Here we go. We have officially made it the sky the great bane will devour the fair land of vanadil the ancient seal was broken awakening nightmares of age past the blood of innocence will soak the earth and the world will fall into the fear and despair Fear, despair. There won't be any blood soaking the earth if I have anything to say about it. I don't know who these crystal warriors are, but I'm not going to let them have their way with my Vanadil. I'll show them what this incomplete Hume is made of. If the Song of Legend sings of our demise, then so be it. But when the song is over, we shall write a new verse of hope with our blood, sweat, and toil. Come on, Zed. We have no time to lose. Be careful, Barregard. I have a feeling we will be seeing each other again soon. We made it! Oh my god, it's been so many years since I've made it here. My first time making it here in 2004. Spent so much fucking time here. screen yeah. that's it for tonight thanks everyone 
that's uh, put up and sat here and watched all of this. Um, next stream, I am going to play some more of this. We will. I'll see if we can finish the Rise of Zillart uh, story as well as the Bastok story. After that, I probably will put another book into this unless for some reason we decide to do something else. Um, I didn't realize that I would get this far into Zillart. Thought it would take a lot longer. Um, so I can like I can look through and see just how much is left, but I'm pretty sure it's not a whole lot. And getting rank ten for Bastok is not that huge of a deal. I don't think. It may come down to leveling. We'll see. So we're going to do at least one more stream of this and try to finish uh, Archangels and finish the story. Um, we'll see. So thank you all for being here. Uh, I need to go, so I'm not even going to bother raiding. You guys go check out your, your favorite streamer. And thanks again for being here. Uh, we are doing a year of Final Fantasy. That's not the right button. <laughs> We're doing a year of Final Fantasy, so if you haven't, uh, hit the vol button. If you want to see more Final Fantasy, you're going to see a lot here. Once we're done with this playthrough, we're going to be jumping over to Final Fantasy 12. So maybe tomorrow being the last stream of 11, and we'll continue on with the story. I probably will be revisiting Final Fantasy 11 as it's been a huge nostalgia trip coming back to this game, and I just love every bit of it. It's so endearing to me. So. If you haven't, hit the follow button, support the stream. Also, if you would like to join our Discord, I'm going to drop the link in chat as well as my YouTube where I'm uploading all the year of Final Fantasy episodes. There's a playlist for every game and you can check out past stuff if you want to just click through and see things you may have forgotten or would like to check out if you're interested in any of these games. Final Fantasy is a fantastic franchise and that means a ton to me. It's something I've been playing ever since I was about five years old. So, y'all have a good night. Thanks for being here. Bye, everybody.